Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Let me tell you something. Today, <laughs> we got a special, special, special guest with us. Mr. Don Nguyen is here. And three specials? The Nuge! <laughs> <laughs> The Oklahoma. Shit. Dude, thank you so much for coming by, dude. No, thanks for having me, man. A pleasure, bro. Stoked to be here. Let me tell you something. You're gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Dude, anytime your name gets brought up, it's like, that dude's gnarly. Yeah, you know what I mean? Funny. Does anybody... Do, do you ever step back and like think like I am fucking gnarly, or does it just no. is it just every day? Is it just normal? I don't know. I don't even think of it like that. I guess. Yeah. I mean, like, you did. You did first guy to do El Toro. First dude to do El Toro. I mean, yeah, but it wasn't like. I don't know. Just, How old were you then? Twenty, I think. Twenty-one. 20? Yeah. yeah. You look super young then. Yeah. In the I've, footage. I'm old man. <laughs> don't the shit fool you. No, but seriously, dude, like you do some crazy shit, bro. Thanks, man. You I know mean, what I mean? Yeah. Like you're gnarly. It's just like, I guess whoever I'm around and stuff too, like they're gnarly fucking. So true. You can't just like hang out and not do anything. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta put some work in too. You gotta you know? do. I know. I just hung around with manual skaters. So I just, <laughs> that's what I did. Uh, but no, like, like Kelly said, like El Toro, you know, we might as well just start it off with El Toro. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on right there? Because wasn't it like um, some drunken night or something? And you yeah, guys, fully. somebody just said, go do it. I was at my house in Huntington Beach. I was living there. just moved there. Okay. And I think uh, like we were partying or something like rag dolls in town, Matt Ball, okay. the state of the house and all these, you know, all these people. And yeah. All my Oklahoma that, was, that I moved with, that yeah. I was living with. Because you're from there. Yeah. Yeah. And then they were like, yeah, fucking El Toro's fucking not that far. You know, I was like, what the fuck is that? I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is that? And they're like, you know, fucking Heath lip slid it. And I was like, oh, cool. And they're like, you should fucking all it. And I was like, oh, sure. I don't know. Like, never, never been to it or anything. And I was like, let's go tomorrow. You know, and I was like, they're like, tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's go. What, what do we you know what I mean? Like, let's go. Right. And then we just fucking went the next day and we were kind of like, you know, just partied out, kind of hung over and just like, and I don't know. I just I was like, fuck it. <laughs> just like, went as far back as I could, you know, to the fence and just. Right. Like, went full as fast as I could and just yeah first try first try like what? fucking lucky and by the way the footage like your front foot's like almost <laughs> coming off it's I like a ollie north and ollie it's, south it was like all over the fucking place like, no it just looks sketchy like you're flying through the air and you're like front foot's like hovering over the but, yeah that was going through my mind I was like man fuck I it's gonna suck to bail yeah you know what I mean so I was like I gotta just hang on and like whatever happens hang on stick it you know like and it just worked out worked I guess. out but did, you but a one foot Hey, but you know. <laughs> Wait, so you only you only tried that one time, and that's the only time you've ever tried anything in El Toro. Yeah, that was it. And then, <laughs> that's amazing. But the fucking guy who shot it, because Joe Krolik filmed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the guy who shot it, um, this guy Dan, he kind of like messed the photo up. He was, oh, shot oh a sequence, and like he fucked it up, where I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like over here, just went out of frame or no. something, you know? And then that was like... Was like, days, can you do it again? A couple of days later. No, we didn't. It was like film. So we didn't know until like a few days later, you know, or whatever, even when he got it processed. And right. then he was like, oh, fuck, dude, I fucked up. You know, and oh. I was like, oh, my God. You know, like I didn't really, I didn't actually really care. I was like, whatever. Who cares? You know, like at the footage, I, you know, I didn't. But you you weren't planning on going back. No. And yeah. then I was on like, I was like flow for Toy Machine and, and stuff at, at the moment. And okay. then uh, Ed was like, dude, you got to go back, you know? And I was like, he's like, do you want to go back? And I was like, I guess, you know, and Burnett was there. Okay. We met at Templeton's house and he was like, you know, like, and Burnett's like, I'll shoot it, you know, if you want to go back. And I was like, he's like, all you gotta do is just try it once and then just get, get a photo. Because yeah, yeah. you already <laughs> landed it. Yeah, you yeah. just gotta get the, the... I was like, all right, fuck it. Wow. And then I ended up trying like five times and like, first one bailed. It wasn't <laughs> oh. that bad as I thought. And then second one stuck, stuck the rest of it and then just didn't do it. You know, didn't but like, do it. he's like, all right, fuck it. It's all good. Fuck it. And I was like, so after right. five tries, were you gonna try more to try to get it or I were you just. I was thinking about it. And that's then, like gnarly yeah. impact. I think I just died on one. I was like, okay, I think I'm good. Like, yeah. yeah like, you know, like. Because you just got to do, you just had to go there and get the photo. Yeah. That was it. You yeah. already done it. It's already on film. Yeah. You, you didn't wear the same clothes though. No, I wore a different shirt. Yeah. I, I was, I had no idea what was going on. I'm like fucking so new to the scene. I was like, I don't know. I'm just wearing this shirt, I guess. You know, like, <laughs> right, right, right. And, and fucking, it was so funny because that's my first photo ever. Ever? Like, ever. And it was in a, th a Thrasher contents. Sick. And uh, Burnett pro swears to this day. He's like, I didn't fuck up the name, dude. I didn't. I wrote Don Wynn on there. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it was like Dan Wynn. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, so wait, wait, let me let me apologize. So it's not Nguyen. It's uh, Nguyen. I mean, it's, it's wait. There's multiple ways to say. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, yeah, this, okay. Yeah. I don't want to get your name wrong. No, yeah. I say Wynn, but yeah, it's all good. Uh, the Nuge. Yeah. Yeah. 
simplify it. How'd you get the name The Nuge? Uh, My first trip after that, we were on like a Tamiedo like Am trip. Okay. And I was like working at Jamba Juice. I wasn't even Am or anything. I was like a flow still. And I was like working at Jamba Juice. And uh, they were like, hey, dude, one of the guys got hurt on Toy Machine. You want to go? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I hung up the phone. I was like, just walked out of Jamba Juice. I was, I was at Jamba Juice. I was like, yeah, fuck this. Uh, yeah, let's go. Walked out of Jamba, Ju- Jamba Juice. Out. Yeah. I worked there for a few months at Intestine. And then, uh, oh yeah, we're in the van or whatever. Just in, you know, I didn't, I didn't meet any, I didn't know any of these people. You know, like Richie, J-Roy, any of these people. I just, my first time meeting them. And, and I'm like, Last one they pick up, I mean, I go straight to the back of the fucking the van. It's like sitting there by myself, like fuck, this is gnarly. Like, you know these yeah. guys, you know, I know these dudes, or whatever. And then like a few days in, they're like Richie's, like he's like fifteen or something. Okay, and he's like the, the biggest shit talker back then. He's like a shithead. He's like, how do you spell your name? And I was like, N G. He's like, fuck it, Nuge. Just stop me right there. He's <laughs> wow. like, you're fucking Nuge. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Literally. No, he, Dalton. Yeah, he coined it right then. Right. Wow. And then Interesting. We were on that trip for like three weeks, and then it just everybody was. The, yeah. You were the nuge. Yeah, just right then. Do you introduce yourself as a nuge? No, nah. no, <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. I say it. My name's Don. Right. Yeah. Right. Nuge is kind of good. Like, I, if you introduced <laughs> yourself as a nuge, like I, I don't think that would be weird. Other nicknames, I think it's kind of weird to introduce yeah. yourself. I feel you weird. Know? Yeah. People are always like, "Hey, this is my friend Nuge." I'm like Don, and they're like, "Would yeah, they they Don Nuge?" I'm like, you know, I'm like, "Who are you?" <laughs> yeah. Have you ever introduced yourself as a uh, crab? I mean, if if it is, it's just for fun. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> just, just to be a fucking jackass. <laughs> but um, so uh, let's go back. Oklahoma. You born in Oklahoma? I was born in Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh, I grew up in Oklahoma since I was like one until oh, like okay. eighteen or nineteen or whenever I moved. Oh, so you pretty much lived your whole life. There. Yeah. I mean, yeah. your early life. And then uh, what what brought you out here? Just skating. Like skating. Yeah, I started skating. Probably like really early when I was like five or five or six or something. Oh wow! And because uh, my older brother skated, he was like five years older. Oh sick! But like my parents owned a pool hall, and then uh, that's where I started skating was in the parking lot, like oh. like skating the parking blocks and didn't, with your brother. Yeah, huh. we didn't even know what the fuck we were, like what tricks were called. You know, like <laughs> I, I think we were calling all these like dallies or some making up weird names <laughs> and shit. We're just like whatever, fucking dally up that fucking curb. You know, like, right, right. And then just slowly just started seeing videos and you know magazines and shit. And okay. Then, yeah. Could you go in the pool hall? Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it wasn't like twenty one and older. I mean, like parents own the place. I know, yeah. But still, like, there's very you know. It was pretty fucking sketchy. Like it was like, you know, all Vietnamese pool hall. You mm. know, like crazy shit going on and like you know gambling or whatever then you know it right. was so it was like me being in there was like the least of their problems like, oh, you know, gotcha. like, so they were just like yeah, I, I was like you know picked up from school go straight to the ball go home at midnight you know like my you know oh that's where this is, that's where you spent most of your time yeah yeah oh okay so skating in the parking lot was yeah. like a distraction yeah. and like yeah, climbing okay. around buildings and shit and yeah you know, just <laughs> acting like a ninja or something you know? like, yeah. there's a lot of that so you came out to california at 18? The first time I came to California, I was 18. Okay. I just came to visit. Gotcha. Like, saved up some money and then came out just to see what it was like, you know? But how did you know? Did you know anybody out here? No. You just you just were it winging was, it. It was just me and, like, four homies, other skate homies, you Oh, know? gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. We didn't know where to go, so we, like, we just seen, like, the Huntington Park. We're like, all right, let's go there. Fucking start there and then figure it out. Right. And then... It was fucking so crazy. Like the air smelled good and shit. You know, like it was like <laughs> everything's green. I was like, dude, this is amazing. You know, like, like it doesn't smell it, like a pool hall. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's great. It was fucking amazing and super stoked to be out there. And then was, we were only here for like a week. Oh wow! And then went back and I was like, saved us some more. I was like, all right, I'm fucking moving. Got to get out there. Yeah, yeah. Moved and then stayed for like six months and then moved back. Why? Because I was like, we ran out of money and shit. Mm. And then like, we're like, fuck, we're, I'm done. You know, like right. And then went back and worked at Best Buy. I had like so many different random jobs and shit. Like, you know, I was like the secret shopper for Best Buy. Really? And it was the sickest job ever. So you would go into Best Buy and you would do what? No, it was like, uh, we would go to like other competitors, like Sears or Circuit City oh. and shit, and like write down their prices and stuff. But I had, my friends were already working to those places. So I wouldn't even, I'd get paid eight hours a day, clock in from home, just be like clock in. And then just sit there for a fucking eight hours. He's like, oh, God. You know, and then what? Like, call your buddies yeah, and be like, like, how much is this tape yeah, recorder? Yeah, just sitting over the fucking thing, you know, and just like write it down and then oh my do that, God. get paid gas. You know, it was that sounds great. Tight. And just be skating all day and shit. Like, it was amazing. So then I saved up some money and I was like, all right, this time I'm not coming back. You know, like, I this think I saved it. up like a thousand bucks or something where it was like, oh. fuck it. 
<laughs> two months of rent, moved in with some people, and it was like, all right, fuck it. How did you get hooked up with, you said Toy Machine at first? Yeah, yeah. How did you get hooked up with him? I don't remember, really. I mean, I was like, when I was in Oklahoma, I was still, I was getting boards from Mirko. He was like, send me like, Planet Earth boards and shit. Oh, and sick. I was like, this is sick. Get like two boards and like some fucking Mercury trucks or whatever it was. Yeah. I'd be like so hyped, you know, like this is amazing. And then like went out to California and then like, I think just skating around Huntington Park or something. And then like oh. just met some people and then they were like, yo, fucking this and that. And then fucking it just happened. I don't know. Like got on flow, met like Ed and shit and skated like some contests, random one. Oh Contest yeah, around town or whatever, and then uh, I mean Huntington Park was popping back. Then. That was yeah, a spot, that was yeah. a spot, oh, yeah. dude. You'd see this, the, some shit go down like every day. I know, right? Like, Tom, do you ever see Penny yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muska, right. fucking. And then when the lights, when the the football game would go on, the lights would come up, so there'd be like this so gnarly of sessions, like fucking really? like Reynolds and everybody fucking ripping, you know, like Friday Night Lights. Yeah. yeah. Were, did you were you becoming friends with Reynolds and all those dudes? Not back really. Then? I mean, no? just like just like you know, hey, what's up? Okay. Type shit. But like then okay. I had like we had our own little crew and shit, like some mm. of the Vegas dudes and you know, fucking just whoever else. Like met like Ot Voss and you know those dudes there too. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I remember coming over visiting and I was like, fuck, Ellington's like, hey, what, you want to buy these shoes for five bucks? Like sick ass Americans. I was like, fuck five bucks like you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah he's like yeah, i'm trying to get a barbecue going in later you know and i was like fuck dude can i buy like six spares? Yeah, like, right. like, i'll buy them all <laughs> pretty much being sponsored yeah right it was so rad but then what happened with toy machine though that's so we went on that trip and then uh in the van you know like we i just started bonding with other dudes and mm-hmm. shit and they're like fuck man like we're starting this other shit hollywood like markovich and you know oh, that's like, why yeah. belton was in the van yeah yeah belton and jayroy like mm-hmm. they were like about to get off foundation or whatever Jerry was switching over from from that foundation to Hollywood, okay. and then Richie was like the new dude. And uh-huh. they're like, "Dude, we're starting this new shit. Ride for us." And I was like, oh, I'm "Sure." You know, I was like, "I didn't know shit." And I was yeah, like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> Felt bad, and I was like, "Fuck it. All right, let's do it." Got home, was homeless for like a, like a month or two. You know, I was like didn't have anywhere to go. I was like sleeping in my car at, around Huntington, and then ran out of money again. Ran out of money again. I was like, I I can't even have any money to go home. Bought you know what I mean? I like, you don't, can't even take the bus yeah, back I can't home. Even go yeah. home. You know what I mean? And then I was still working at Jamba Juice, work at Jamba Juice. No, this is after that. Mm. So I'm just like homeless, running around, skating, and then fucking whatever, and then crashed out of the church right by fucking Huntington Park a lot. Okay. And then Mark was like, yo, fuck, I heard you're fucking just sleeping around in your car. Like, I have a fucking pool house. You want to just move in? And I was like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you That's- moved in b- in the back of Chris Markovich's house. Yep. That's right when he's, sick. They were starting all the shit. So like when he lived in like a fuller to Fullerton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Were you skating with Markovich a lot too? Yeah. I mean, right then, when, once I met him and we hung out, cause like Richie and they were like, yo, this dude fucking put him on. And he was like, whatever, I trust you guys. So then when we all met and skated and shit, he was like, yeah, you're definitely, if you want to be on, you're on, you know? Wow. Just and like then, that. And then a few days, a few weeks just went by and he's like, yeah, move in. And then I was just in his fucking house, his pool house for like a year. Well, this is after, crazy? this is after you did El Toro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were people going nuts like that? You all eat El Toro? Like, was that like a thing people talk or like, talking like? Kind of, yeah. Because like when I went on that trip, uh-huh. they were like, "You're the dude that fucking all eat El Toro," you know, like Daniel Shimizu and shit. Mm. Like, you're that dude. And I was like, yeah, I don't. I guess. And I was like, you know, I didn't really think of it. Like, you didn't if, get it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You know, like I was like, fuck. It's crazy how because El Toro now is such a big deal. Yeah. Anything that goes yeah. down on it, you're yeah. just like, whoa. I literally had no world. idea. I was just like, fuck, I'll try it, and then it just did it, and then I didn't <laughs> think it was like some monumental shit or anything you know it's like it was a fuck i just ollied you know like, <laughs> like i don't know like you know yeah but no one ollied it before <laughs> it kind of like yeah. in a weird way it seems like it kind of like just changed your life but you didn't even realize yeah, it. yeah. totally yeah because like people still fucking talk about it all the time i'm like fuck that was so long ago and i just ollied like I, I, yeah, like, yeah 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 you know yeah. Yeah. but you set it up well you said kirchart lip slid it right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah before that and then and like the end or whatever and but then, still like well what video was a uh, your ollie in was it in a, a 411 yeah opener right yeah yeah oh, it was an opener yeah well, kelly knows that of course <laughs> like in, uh, what issue <sighs> kelly? In the, i don't know, i can't remember the, what issue but weren't in you the, wearing cost in ones yep yeah, in the 40s yeah. It was like the, <laughs> in, in like the 40, 40 something issue, but okay. yeah, I was wearing costumes. I was like Team B. I was like Team, you know, oh, BK, team BK. BK. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was hooking me up with shoes and shit. Oh, and I was wow. like, yeah. Were so. you skating with Mike Stanfield a lot back yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he okay. would pick me up from Jamba Juice. I'd like go to Jamba Juice, work. I get up like I'd work in the morning. I'd get there at five in the morning. Okay. Work till two or thirty or something, and then he would come pick me up from fucking Torrance. He'd come all the way there, pick me up, and we'd go skate all day, and then drop me back in my car, and then I'd go home. Did he have the mustache back then too, or was it? Yeah. Oh hell. He's always yeah. had the mustache. He's always he was, had the mustache. Was, I was really pissed about it because I couldn't really grow. You couldn't one. grow. Yeah. No. But you finally got. Yeah. Finally, dude, like thirty years later. 
<laughs> good dude. Uh, I like my, I like Mike, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a rad dude. And then, but so yeah, like Kelly said, like it kind of changed your life without you knowing it yeah. almost. That's pretty yeah. fucking rad. I'm, just, I'm stoked. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was just, just, people still talking about it, dude. Mm-hmm. So Hollywood starts up, right? And uh, did you guys make a video? Yeah, we made, I think one or two, videos. one or two videos. Yeah. Okay. Definitely made one. Yeah. And then a couple promo videos or something along the way. But like, um, how long did Hollywood last? It's pretty short lived. Pretty short lived. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like a blur to me. Like it was like mm. two years, three years, maybe or something. Maybe, maybe like not even a year and a half. I feel like. Dude, oh it, really? Yeah. Some crazy shit happened, and then Chris kind of was like, "Fuck this, it's over." It's you over. Know? Yeah. Huh. And then we kind of like try to take over. Like, all right, we'll take it over, I guess. And then we didn't know what the fuck we were doing, and we're like, "Okay, <laughs> that's done." And yeah. then you guys started Hell Rose out of that, right? Yeah. And then yeah. Mm. Hell Rose was that a syndrome, syndrome or something, and then that didn't work out, and then because we were fucking kids still like like, uh, like graphics what like yeah you know, like <laughs> ads and shit like what like the fuck? jack daniel's you know? bottle cool yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take a picture right. of that and put it on a board or whatever you know like we didn't know what we were doing so like sure. then that died and then we went to we all kind of just like found our way back to Temiato and like pigwood started and stuff and oh then, okay yeah. slaughterhouse yeah i got on right after slaughterhouse oh yeah because yeah huh. and like slash was you know slash baka but then foundation came into play after too, that after yeah. that right after pig died i got on foundation what? Pig wood. Pig wood died. Pig yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The skate company, yeah. The tires are still going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the tires, are still oh, yeah. tires haven't <laughs> fell off yet. Yeah. 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 Wheels haven't fell off. Yeah. But, uh, but it, so the foundation came into play. Were you at this time just being like, dude, what's going on? Like, every company that I'm on, like, just gets fucked up. Kind of, yeah. Like, but I mean. I mean, I can I, imagine. But I was still stoked either way. Like, you know, mm. like, fuck. I, you say it's a curse? S- still fucking. No, uh, not a curse, <laughs> but just, you know time and like you you haven't gotten on anything stable yeah, yeah, right yeah, that you could yeah, like yeah. call home and yeah, feel yeah. comfortable I mean, it, all of it felt like home for a second sure <laughs> of, like, course, like, of, course, like, of course of course of course all my friends and shit and it, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah but it sounds like none of them were really no one was really looking after the company yeah yeah all of them were i mean hollywood we had markovich but then mm-hmm. he just kind of was like flipped it and was like fuck i'm out of here and then like you know not some shit happened you know Didn't, like, like the city of hollywood kind of come after him i for using like the that. I'm Hollywood not, sign? I'm not sure. Graphic? I'm not hmm. sure about that. I've never heard of that, but right. yeah. Because I know you can't like use it at all. Even in video footage, you can't even use it. Oh, the sign. Yeah, 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 the sign. Oh, okay. You can use, use the word because the word. Yeah, is, but I think he also used the, the, the sign as a logo. Oh, yeah. hmm. And I think he got pinched for that. That fell apart and then mm. fucking Hell Rose fell apart and then Pigwood. It's just because when the, all the people that were that started it, it was their thing, and then when they left, like Beagle left because Beagle got fired from Tamietta, and then we're like, "Fuck, well that's our dude," and like, right? You know, and then that makes no sense why he got fired. Yeah, like what the fuck? So now we're just like again, just little dudes on our own, you know. And then like Baca got on Baker, and then like shit just kind of, you know, we all kind of spread out. And sure. Then I got on a foundation, and then foundation. Rode, rode that for that for a while. And How then, old were you around this time then? Can't remember. Twenty five. Okay, so like five or you six years, kind of on different different squads, different companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something huh. like that. Cataclysmic abyss. <laughs> right. That yeah. was your first video um, on Foundation, right? Yeah, yeah. First off, who named that video? Ethan. Ethan oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wanted to make it like a fucking metal theme. Well, like he a, did. A, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were what I was you were breaking shit up in in that in your house and stuff. Well, what the fuck were you doing? Well, that was when we moved into Hellrose like in Hollywood. Uh-huh. And that's like that, that's where we got the name because it was like kind of like when we Hellrose came from, we all lived in Fullerton mm-hmm. and we all had different apartments and shit and it kind of was like Melrose place. But it was like, oh, you know, we were like kind of raising hell and stuff gotcha. like Then we all moved to Hollywood and we had this house and then fucking it was just and the guy it was right next to the 101 cafe. Huh. And the guy was like, the landlord was like, yo, you, we're, you can move in, but like, uh, we're only going to let you live there for a year, literally 365 days, and then we're going to tear it down and make a parking lot. Oh. So then we're like, all right, fuck. We, so we can do whatever we want. And you're like, yeah, fucking do it. Go, go nuts, you know? So like, <laughs> we're like, okay, good. You know, like. Wrong thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> no deposit. Meanwhile, he's like, you know, out with the insurance claim, like, all right. <laughs> right. This place might burn down. <laughs> it was insane. Like, Literally one full year of like nonstop. Were other people living in the building too? No, it was just I mean it was just like a ho- one house. Oh, it was a house. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like a two story oh. house, like three beds downstairs, three bedrooms upstairs. You know, like and then like gotcha. f- twenty people living in it or something. You know, not really like definitely six legal people that are paying rent. Okay, but then like <laughs> fucking 
a ten just, other people just, are just squatters like, yeah, and just, just your rear buddies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gate house. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, totally. you guys tore the shit out of that place. Yeah. The last day, we're like, all right, we're having a fucking break the house down party. Everybody bring some shit to break the house down. You know, like. And my friend brought that giant. He made this giant hammer. Like, <laughs> brought it. This guy Neil. He's the le- he's a. Oh, was it Krakow? Was <laughs> great. Good one. <laughs> he brought this thing from like fucking Riverside on the train and was like, just had to, like <laughs> a towel over. It was like just looked so sketchy. But then he got there. Like, it was a gnarly fucking scene. Like, because like Richie, we're like we're like all right, we're gonna start breaking shit like at ten. You know, like, mm-hmm. and Richie's just sitting there like fuck, like eight o'clock. He's like itching. He's itching. He's like. <laughs> Throw something through a window, or you know what I mean, and it just and then Lawson was like, "All right, fuck it, let's go." And then like it was just like tsh, 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 every like everybody go to one room and just smash it, and then the lights would blow up. Go to another room, smash it, and the lights would pop. And then I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna go outside and just see what lo- what it looks like from outside." You yeah, because all the neighbors were like tripping. <laughs> I'm sure and, like, it was so loud, you know. And I went outside and I was like watching, and you can just see them like go like go to like one room and like psh, lights go out. It was so fucking sick. And then like the cops and everything. And it lasted probably like 30 minutes, but the whole house was destroyed. Like in 30 minutes, people were, like on the, the bottom floor, like just like sledgehammered a hole through the wood floors and they put the rug back in over and people were like running through like, yeah, like fall <laughs> out. Real <laughs> way. Wow. It was hilarious. I mean, it sounds like fun. Dude. It was Demolition so fun. is fun. No, it was so fun. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It was really What did the cops do? Were they just like, are you guys fucking out of your mind? Yeah, they just like shut it down and they're like, okay. And then we just all that was left. It. And then we had already moved our shit out. You know, like oh, so it was empty. Yeah, it was we just like, oh, okay. Did you guys have stuff ready to go? Like another place to live? Yeah, we were already ready okay. to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we already moved into another place and shit. We were just like, we we're just in a distress. This is our last day. So like, right. you know, on the lease, whatever. Or Jeez. Fake lease. That be funny if the owner came in and we're like, we changed our mind. We're going to keep this place. <laughs> what did you guys do? Um, so foundation, so uh, foundation. Uh, how long was the foundation for you? That was a few. That was a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a good run on that. Four, five years. Or Four something. or five years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you did Cataclysmic Abyss. Was that the only video, or I think that was the last video since I was when I was on. When you were on, yeah, yeah. Huh. How did the Baker thing come into play? Here's how I remember it. Like Baca got on first, and yeah. Then Lizard, and then Slash. They were starting Death Wish. Okay. So they were getting on Death Wish, and mm-hmm. then. That was going on for a while, and I was still on foundation, and we were still skating. You know, everybody was skating together and shit still. Right. And then we were on a trip somewhere in a van, and I remember getting a phone call. Like, I'm sitting shotgun, and I get a call. They're like, it's Reynolds. Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, uh, I've talked to everybody, and like, I feel like you should drive for Baker. You know, and I was wow. like, I was like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> hung up. Just hung up. You no, hung you didn't. I didn't, I didn't know. It was, I was like, there was no way this is him. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, right. Just hung up. He and hung up on Reynolds. There, so. And I was like, looking around, I was like, well, everybody's asleep. So like, nobody could really. Nobody's back there me, prank you know? calling. Yeah. And then it called again and it was him. And I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, if that's, if you know, I was like, he said it again. I was like, okay, cool. And then just like, call, I think I called, it was like late. And I just called Swank. Right then, out right after, I was like, "Yo, uh, that's it. This shit's happening." And you know, wow. He was, like, he was like, "Fuck, all right." You know, like, yeah, good it, run and yeah. fucking good luck and shit. You know, it was all good and like, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he understood too. You know, I was like, "Man, fuck!" I all my I friends are, do the same thing. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Did you I know no, Reynolds already? Yeah, hung out a few times and shit. You know, like yeah. not not like fully, but like right. You know. But I mean, like, I definitely didn't have his number in my phone. <laughs> it was just <laughs> a like, random number. Yeah, yeah. That's I love that you hung up on him. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. He was probably like, what? <laughs> he was like, what? all right, fuck you. Then. Fuck, like, yeah, you never yeah, called yeah, back. I'd be like, right? Fuck. <laughs> You'd always be wondering if that was actually Reynolds. That Jimmy's yeah. phone rings. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but so, but Death Wish never was a part because those were all your buddies too that were going to Death Wish. Yeah, that yeah. was never a uh, a thing, huh? Yeah, for I mean, you. Huh? I mean, Reynolds just. It was just that one call, that was it. and he was like, "We want you on Baker." I talked to the whole team. Everybody's like down, and I was like, "What? Like for real? Like you know? Like and I was like, "Oh well, shit! Yeah, let's let's do it." You know, like couldn't believe it. So, chick, uh, chicken bone now a song comes out, right? Mm-hmm. Is that after? That's obviously after the phone call, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was the first kind of Baker yeah. squad thing that you were in, yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah, I love that video, bro. It's that was just so fun. Any, anything that comes out of that camp. Did yeah. you heel you know? flip uh, the triple set in that? I think so. <laughs> I don't happen? know if it was in that or something else, but I, yeah, I think it was. Like, yeah, dude, you you got an incredible heel flip. Is there like inspiration <laughs> from back in the day? Is there like anyone that you grew up watching that you were all psyched in heel flips? 
Fuck, I can't remember. Hail from the Kickflips, like yeah, 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 both of them really good, yeah. Yeah. dude. Yeah. Usually it's like one or the other, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. But it is kind of like so. I like I think I learned hill flips first, mm. maybe, and then like did a lot of hill flips and like okay, learned kick flips and then like kind of lost hill flips and you know and then oh you kind of back, yeah, back and forth, back and forth, right. and finally you know got it together. But like um, Dave Huang, my fucking homie, has a really oh, good. Oh, he's hill got a real good yeah, one yeah. for sure. Yeah, I think it was like the first trick in in it may have been Cataclysm. It, there, you heel flip this fucking gnarly it almost looks like downtown la yeah, or yeah. something is it yeah. downtown yeah that was a fucking another random thing like we're just like, skating around you know i don't know i like i like that about skating like you, i hate like i don't hate but like it's more fun for me to like just go around and see something like okay just try what you can and then if you get it you get it right. you know, like, instead yeah. of like going like fuck, Finding out. like on december fucking 8th <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to fuck this shit up you know then right. you, like you get there and you're totally let down you know what i mean sure yeah. well i want to get to the hill bomb <laughs> because that was gnarly okay yeah. and now as far as it, it's like the it's like this one of the steepest hills in in United all of California. In, no, in like the United States, right? right? It's like number five or something. Something like that. I don't even know. Yeah. Really? Number five? That's insane. It's up there on the list, yeah. That's Bro. Wild. But it may be the it may be number one in California. <clears> but <throat> yeah. I mean every, everybody thinks of SF. Yeah. Oh, yeah. SF, hills, hills, and here here we are in LA and the news comes flying down it. <laughs> it's fucking nuts, dude. We, we got go, the oh, we got the photo right here. It's fucking Which is another fucking drunken night dare type oh, thing no. it seems like you're good at these drunken your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and it's fuck it was a neck face this time neck face yeah. weird can I give him a <laughs> yeah of course so you guys are just chilling at home I guess just no, we were drinking at, and we're stuff we actually fucking at Skins <clears throat> photo show on oh really yeah on that, whatever the, when that was Adidas thing, thing yeah, yeah yeah oh shit and then we were there and Burnett was there and fucking um, next like I fucking bet you won't fucking bomb this hill. And I was like, okay. You know, like, I'm not like, I'm like, what hill? I was like, whatever, <laughs> Nick. Like, get out. You know, like, you're fucking drunk. Get it. You know, and he's like, sure. I fucking got the steepest hill. You know, and I was like, okay. And he's like, you, will you bomb it? If I fucking get Burnett to shoot it, Burnett's right over there. And I was like, <laughs> all right, okay. You know, like, making just, it all happen for yeah, him. Yeah, right, like, right. I think he's just talking shit. Sure. And then, he runs up to me and I was like, oh, will you shoot this photo tomorrow? Fucking Because he was supposed to stay the night or something. He was okay. like, tomorrow, will you shoot this photo of Nugent and try to bomb this hill? And then he's like, yeah, I'm here. So I was like, fuck. Well, okay, well, now I'm going to go to this hill tomorrow. And then we go to this hill, but it wasn't Baxter. It was this other hill called Eldridge. Oh. That Neck had found. He's like, it's the steepest hill ever. And it oh. was. It's actually steeper than that one. Oh, it is. But it's like. The road is completely fucked. Like, mm. There's like. No way. Man, there's no way. Not possible. And then we get there. I'm like, this is gnarly and there's no way to skate it you know yeah and Burnett's like this isn't even the hill I'm talking about I thought you were talking about Baxter so he already knew about this hill oh he already knew and I was like well, what the fuck is that and I used to live right there and I just forgot about it you know I like, mm. just didn't put the two together he's like let's go to this Baxter we'll go over there so we left that hill went to this hill and I was like uh, you can go down this one there's like no you know it's pretty there's only like one zone where you need to really fucking be careful be yeah. careful you huh. know and he's like you you gonna do it and I was like yeah I'll try it like what like half you know and then he's like and he's like he's like running up the hill other other hill to set up okay and i'm like walking back up i'm like looking for all the shit you know like get rid of rocks yeah, yeah, like, I'm, like, I'm like looking for all the cracks and shit and there's like one little zone of the like three quarters of the way down there's like one little zone like that i've that's the lane that i picked i was like hey you, you gotta go through this go little through path. that little thing is there around it's like cracks you know i'm sure you can make it through but that was just like my focus like okay get right there sure and then as i'm walking up the hill some fucking I'm like walking to the top just to look again, you know, but I'm like walking up and this, this car drives by, there's like this lady and, and her kid is in the back seat, and I just hear like, you're going to die. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Who the fuck said that? You know, like, what? and I was like, there's only one per, like, car and it was like this little tiny girl, like, you know, in the back seat. <laughs> and I was like, fuck that, you know? And I had just gotten back from South Africa where we almost did die going down a hill. Oh. That's right. That's so I was right. like, you know what? Weren't you driving? Yeah, I was driving. Okay, we got to talk about that after. Go, go ahead, though. <laughs> so I'm Continue like, fuck, with this. If I want to die down a hill, I should have died already. So right. fuck it. You know, like, I'm just, and I just ran to the top and I was like, Tino's at the top. You know, Tino's like the top, like filming the other way, uh -huh. just with his phone. And I'm like, this fucking motherfucker said he almost didn't die. And it's like, she's like, what? <laughs> fuck it. Just do it. And I was like, all right. <laughs> just came in and, like, you know, just went around the corner and just like, kind of just, like, rolled into it. And then once you start, there's no, oh, I mean, there was like, I could, I was like, okay, I'm going to power slide three times maybe. And it was like sure. one and it was like, can't do it again. Can't do it. It's yeah, it went too fast. Yeah. And it's like rough. So if you catch an edge, you're fucking oh. just ski man down the fucking thing. <laughs> but then I was like, okay, I did one. It was like, okay, too late, too late. Just like 
go for just, it. Yeah, you yeah, can't do anything yeah. else. So then it was just kind of like, I kind of got off course a little bit. And then I just remember, I was like, okay, that little thing, yeah. get back. And I like kind of got back and, you know, whatever. Did, did you tighten your trucks up? I loosened it because I had fucking brand new trucks. That was a you loosened it. Brand new trucks? There was, dude, I had just set up a new complete. I wasn't even <laughs> trying to... I wasn't even trying to bomb this hill at all. You know what I mean? I had just set up a new board to go skate normal. Like, you know what I mean? And I was trying like, to fuck. Trying to go break in your truck. Yeah. You know, like, bombing the biggest I hill. I tightened my yeah. wheel, then tightened my truck. I know. And they were so fucked. You know, like, they were like, you know, brand new. And I was like, oh my God. And I just like, I loosened them so I can like, at least like, turn and shit. You know, like, but thank God I did, I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. so, well, I did notice That's you were scary. wearing a leather jacket. Yeah. I didn't like loosen them where I was like, fucking day one right, loose, right, but I was just like <laughs> right, right. loosen them a little bit so I can get like a little control I guess yeah in yeah. the leather jacket in case you 100 slid. yeah oh, 100% wow. I would have worn a whole leather suit <laughs> you know like the race car drivers <laughs> were you wearing gloves no nah, just no? just the jacket I mean when you're halfway th- down what it, what's going through your mind it, listen hill bombs scare the hell out of me dude. I know I mean you know the just, intersection they're, they're, they're fun the they're fun as fuck you know, they're so fun once you, once you get through it. You know what I mean? But like, I just remember Frank told me, like, when we were bombing those in SF one time, mm-hmm. he was like, dude, you know, when someone tries to pick you up, you like don't, you don't want to, you just like do your dead weight. He's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. that's just kind of what you want to do when you're like bombing the other. You just like, <laughs> just go like, as you know, like, just put as all your weight. As heavy as possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God. and I just, I don't know. I don't know if I even did that, but I just remember, I just, that's the position, you know, you're like, just fucking, Jeez. and it's too late and then you can't do anything. You can't so you're like, th- yeah. But what do you do? I think the sketchiest part, well, that is sketchy as fuck, but the traffic. Oh, well, we had people down there. I still don't care. (laughs) What about an SF, though, is super gnarly. Yeah, that's that's the sketchiest part. (laughs) Fuck that. But there was like a, you know, like it goes down and then it kind of humps in the middle like Uh this. And then like it's like a pyramid and then. And then you go back up. up the next oh, so you could go yeah. fucking one that little. I like launched it kind of. You know, like <laughs> going so fast, but like I went like halfway up the other hill. Like yeah. it's pr- pretty much just a steep. Do you, you know, know how fast you were going? I mean, is there? Does anybody have an estimate or anything? Bragg wasn't there with the fucking. <laughs> Don't have had the fucking the the app. You know. Oh yeah. And I forgot. He like he's like here. Put this in your pocket to see how fast you're going. Or whatever. I put it in, and then forever he's like it didn't work. Hmm. But then he found it again, and it did work. But I I forget what it said like. 35 or something i don't even know really but like what was the what was the hill uh, what was the average speed in the the hill bomb that bragg did on etn i can't remember yeah. 30 was it ravens 40 or something, something, something like that something, yeah. you gotta be you had to yeah. going faster than that i mean it's bro. a rough more rough of a street yeah. though, too like but i don't know oh man dude like downhill is like the, they're hitting like 70 and shit yeah but like the the, uh, the world dude. record's like 90 oh my gosh yeah dude. could you imagine psycho I'm going 90 in my car. I'm getting scared. Yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, whoa, I got to slow down to 65 on the freeway. <laughs> Would you ever try that? What? Like Lugia? fully get like... No. No way, up? No? no way. <laughs> trying to die like that? Like, I don't even snowboard or surf. I'm like, I'm just trying to just be on my skateboard. Normal. Did you hear about Nuge? <laughs> <laughs> it went Super Dave on it. Yeah. <laughs> super Dave, yeah. Doesn't Olsen do that? Does he? Steve? Does Steve? I think do he that? used to back, right, back in the day. Like, yeah, I think the, he used to get suited up. I know he does slalom and shit. Yeah. Wow. So, okay, I want to go back to the, um, now that I already have anxiety, um, <laughs> I want to go back because you guys almost died in a, a car accident. I think Raven was there too, right? Yep. And he was filming. He was filming, yeah. He was filming the thing. Yep. Um, not even knowing that this was going yeah. on, he was filming out the window no, and yeah. captured it all. Yeah. Huh? Skate, skate Rock? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In South Africa. You lost your brakes going down this hill straight in a up, rented van. Straight up like a nightmare. I, I always fear this, right? You go down a hill, losing your brakes. Like, it's it's a common fear. It's in, It was insane. Like, fully fucked. Like, we were like, um, we're Try going. Emergency brake, too? I did, I, I did all yeah. things, dude. I was like, it was fucked up. Because we're like, we're going to this place. We're trying to get to the skate camp. But like, uh, there's, I guess there's two routes to mm-hmm. get to it. And then Pete Stone's like, hey, pull over to the liquor store. I'm going to get the fucking, there's a, sh- there's a shorter route. I'm going to get a local to come with us. And I'm like, we're going go to the liquor store to get a local to go to the skate thing. I'm like, okay, pull over, get the, get the, get, uh, get liquor or, you know, booze and shit. And he comes mm-hmm. out with this dude. He's like, this dude knows it. I told you. And I'm like, fuck, he nailed it. He fucking found this dude. And actually, they just found a random to go with the power yeah, of that, 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 that skated too, that knew oh, exactly that, where to okay. go, you know? And like at, in the middle of a fucking village, I don't know how, the fuck, <laughs> how he did this, you know? And he's like, but you know, always believe in peace. And you're sure. like, right, cool. And the guy's like, okay, we're going straight. He's like, make this left. And then this is the shortcut. Hmm. And then go that we make this left under this dirt road and it's like you know just 
only one car can go at a time. You know, like there's like no two lanes. Oh my gosh. So we go in. It's like a roller coaster. Like we go, we're going. I'm like, this looks pretty fucking, you know, kind of gnarly down there. You know, like, and he's like, it's cool. You got it. And there's like 17 of us in this car. You know, it's like definitely overweight. Overpack. Whatever. All of our shit in it. <clears throat> and then this dude's just rolling a joint behind me, and I'm like, I'm on the, you know, driving on the wrong side of the car. Oh Peace out next to me. But I've already gotten used, you know, I, I've gotten used to it. Sure. So whatever. I'm cruising, and, and then I'm like, well, we start going down, and then now it's like just turned into like ridgebacks, like no high side, just cliffs on both sides. Oh, like straight up shit. where it's like gone and then like fucking gone, you know, and then it getting steeper and steeper, and it's like dirt. What's a, how, like if you went off the edge, what, what are you looking at? Like, Fucking Besides death, but uh, like, like, how long is a how far is like a drop? A you think like sixty to a hundred? Jeez, wow! Like, so you're just riding your brakes the whole time? Yeah, pretty much riding. I was yeah. I was in first, mm -hmm. just like you know riding you know riding the brake a little bit in first, and then it started getting steeper. So I'm like kind of ride it more, you know. Manual transmission. Manual, and it's mm -hmm. like side. I'm like fucking in first mm -hmm. cruising, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, fuck. This is getting gnarly, and I can't even. There's no way to even turn around to go back because it's like so narrow. You know, it's like they, bombing the hill. Yeah. You gotta go. Gotta go. Right. And now I'm like fucking, I can f fucking like feel the brake going all the way down. You know what I mean? Whoa. And I'm like, oh dude. God. And I pumped the shit, you know, I, you know, you pump the brake mm -hmm. and it came back up and I'm like, now we're going even faster. Now I got to push it again. It goes to the ground again. And I'm like, oh well, the brakes are out, you know? And there was like, yeah, right. You know, like they're like, fucking, oh, you said it out loud. Yeah. I was like, the brakes are out and everybody, I just kind of said it like that, like. Cause I, I don't know, I was just like, shit, brakes are out, you know, like, <laughs> what, like don't even sound scared. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> literally yeah, just, like, out, just like that. Like, and P stone's like, yeah, right. And then fucking Trixie's in the back. There's like, there's like fucking so many people, oh my all my homies and like family, you know, like moms and dads and shit. Plus you know, a like, random yeah. dude you picked up at the liquor store. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, he's trying to finish his joint and shit. Like, <laughs> And I'm like, they're like, yeah, right. And I'm like, fuck, no, the brakes are out. And I'm like, I'm pumping and they can hear it. I'm fucking pull the brake. You know, it's like one of those truck ones where you're like, oh. you know, and it just was like, I thought it was going to like at least like slide like the mm. back end a little bit, nothing. And then I'm like looking around for like a high, something to hit and there's nothing. I'm like, this is fucking insane. And then the next right, we're like, the hill's like this too. Okay. <laughs> you know, like it's fucked. We're going like 30 and gaining, you know? Is and it then, a one way? Yeah, there's no other... I mean, like, yeah. so there, it's not like cars can go like yeah, yeah. There's not even cars on the motherfucker. Like, and no, you're they still... probably know. They probably know to like not roll down that sh that fucking that, <laughs> that route. You know, the, the place is called Valley of a Thousand Hills, too. By the way, and it's in red on the map. The oh. only thing in red. <laughs> we found this out afterwards. Like, don't. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like you, you may not want to take this route. <laughs> yeah, we found yeah. it out afterwards. But then, so the next turn is a right. You mm -hmm. know, and I'm like, well, there's no way we're making that right because okay. if we try it. This is all going through my head like so fast, Six like okay, seconds. yeah, like like you're dead. You try to make that right, you're doing like a switch tray flip off the side. <laughs> everybody's dead, you know. Right. And then at the last second, <laughs> I see a fucking driveway. The last second, and I just saw like a little piece of dirt. And I was like, "Fuck!" It just went that way, and I just saw like a gate. It was like a little you know, like a driveway, and then a gate. Uh -huh. I was like, right, "Maybe this gate will slow us down." Just like, poosh, tsh, gone. The like in the movies, yeah. Like <laughs> crash through the gate, <laughs> fucking gone. Like nothing didn't slow down anything, you know. Like, like obliterated, just obliterated, and then now. <laughs> On the other side of the gate, there's like chickens and goats and shit, just like running all over the place and shit. I'm like fucking bombing this driveway. It's a and the driveway's a steep ass hill too. And I'm like okay, and the the things is like I'm like barely holding on. I was like we're fucking all flying around and then everybody's like nobody's really said anything either. Like they're just like and like the back half, the back Calm half about the guy. The back half can't even see what's going on because there's so many people in the front. Sure. You know? And like the only the people that could see was like Raven sitting on like a bunch of luggage. Grant's right behind me. And then I think Frex is like right here. And then me and Peace Stone and the dude, the dude the rolling the joints in the middle, like in the back seat. <laughs> not not in the middle of front, but like the right behind like in the, the middle, in the behind, middle yeah, passenger, just, yeah, right. Not even really in the seat. And then He's still rolling? Yeah, still rolling. No, I think, like, okay. <laughs> we'll get to that. Like so yeah. so we're like cruising and like not cruising, we're fucking bolting down this thing. <laughs> and I see a, like a little yurt. Oh no. And I'm like, okay, well that's our only option. We're gonna hit that. You're gonna crash right into this yurt. I thought we we're gonna go through it anyway. Oh, and die also like because right. the on the other side of that's a cliff too. Oh. So I'm like, okay, well we're done. And then there's a lady sitting in a chair breastfeeding, oh my God. and she looks up. I'm like, we lock. She like locks eyes, and she's like, this dude ain't stopping, <laughs> right? You know? And just like bolts out of the thing, and like one second later, I just like smash right, like her chair is like right here. Uh huh. I smash like right here, oh. and I took it to my side because I was like, fuck, I'm driving. 
if we're, I'm going to take the brunt of this. We're going to fucking yeah. go off this thing. I'm, we're going, you know, like we're all going to wow. go. And it just stopped us. Like it just like, boom, stopped. I think because I hit the round side of it instead of going right through the front of it. Oh, like straight on. Yeah. Oh. I, I was The whole time I was picturing like, you know, that scene in Bad Boys where he's just like going like through, through the, the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought that was going to happen right afterwards. Wow. And it just stopped us. And and then immediately everybody was like, I just hear Fagin in the back. He's like, everybody good? You know, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out. Like, you know, like, like is everybody good? You know, like, we just get piled out. The only person that got fucked up was like, Tony didn't get fucked. He just got a board to the back of the head, like, just like mm. hit him. And he was like, fine. He's like, you just hear in the footage, he's like, ow. And that's <laughs> yeah, it. That's it dude. And then the dude that rolling the joint gets out and he's like limping. And then Peace was like, what happened? And he's like, my fucking knee. And he has the weed tight grip in his hand. <laughs> He like dislocated his knee or something because he was like right there, not in the seat. Oh. It was kind of, but then Peace Jones like did some shit and was like, bah, popped, popped it back, it back in. Way. Literally popped it back in, and the guy's all, <sighs> it finishes rolling. Finish it, oh it, you know, like literally. Gosh. And then we're like, you know, I'm like, I get out and I'm like, holy shit, the car is stuck. And people are coming out of the villages, like mm -hmm. literally, like coming out of everywhere, like, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, what's going to happen? You know, like, and they're like, and I'm like, so, I'm so sorry. You know, like, just like, we're, don't worry, we'll fix it, you know? And yeah, they, yeah. And everybody comes down, they're like, is everybody good? You know, like, it was so mellow, and I was mm -hmm. like, you know, and they were like, they helped us out, and then we just piled out, like, just like, of the van, and just like, sat there, and we're just like, Jeez, like, you know what I mean? Like, dude. for a while, like, yeah. for like, a few hours, and then, Smoked so the joint, obviously. Smoked it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. all the shit, and then, <laughs> Drink all the beer. Finally get a hold of like, Mark Waters, and we're like, dude, we crashed, someone pick us up, and they bring another van, picked up half of us, took us there, took us to the place, mm -hmm. came back for us. And then we get in the van and the, that fucking van's thing starts tripping. Oh, trucks, no. Or the, the brakes. And then we're like, dude, just stop. Get us out. We'll write down on a fucking, draw us a little fucking map. We'll fucking we'll, walk we'll there. We'll walk there. Yeah. We yeah. walked like five miles through this fucking crazy, tr like, I don't blame village. You. Like, literally. Took forever. But we got there and then we all kind of like, re re like united, re sure. like, reunited and shit. And then fucking partied for like two days straight god <laughs> damn barbecued trip was pretty much over after that huh no and then after that everybody was like bonus round we're still here you're going for it <laughs> and we like every day was like yeah like skate everything you know like and i mean that's like a near-death experience yeah. it was you know gnarly. i mean for you and and probably peace stone in the front like seeing all this shit yeah. happen and and trying to i mean whatever it's, it sounded like you didn't even have time to think about anything. No, like you just yeah. saw this this little piece of dirt and you go you went for it. Yeah, like one hundred percent true. Like that's what happened, you know. And then like I got out and I was like, dude, sorry, I fucking crashed the van. They're like, dude, dude, you, you just lives. fucking killed it, dude. Like you yeah. know, you just did it. You saved right. everyone. Yeah. And I, they were, I was like, fuck, you know, I didn't, even, you know, it, it would nothing. Like three days later, I was like. Holy shit. <laughs> like, like well, what I, about the footage? Was, uh, you said Raven filmed the whole thing? Yeah, Raven filmed it because he was like filming because it was like crazy. He's like filming out the window. Like, you know, there's like all this, the scene and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm like, the, you can hear everything. I'm like, the brakes went out. And he's like, and you know, and everybody's like, yeah, right. You can hear the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I saw the footage. And then you? when we he figures out we're really losing, he just goes like this and just like locks in, just like braces himself, <laughs> just locks. In. You can see the whole thing. And he's just like, and then right before we hit, he like, you know, put the phone down and like just braced. braced up. Wow. But he fucking Jeez. filmed it like a war journalist, dude. He's like, <laughs> I was fucking, I got this. Like, you know, like, it was insane. So from the time you found out your brakes were, and you said brakes are out, yeah. and until the, the time you crashed, how, how many, how, how long do you think that that was? Probably like um, 30 seconds, 20 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 20 you know, like, I mean, Because it was like, brakes are out. And they're like, yeah, right. And I was like, no, it's brakes are out. Pull the thing. And now we're just cooking. Cooking. You know, and then, Gaining and speed. then. Yeah, like fucking twenty seconds. 20, or I mean, you know? could you? Uh, it must have felt like an hour. It was. You so, know what I mean? Or did did it go quick? It felt so fast. Oh, it felt fast. It felt fast because I was like, dude. Because all of a sudden we're there, and then all of a sudden we're in a house, and we're like, okay, like you know, what I mean, like we're getting out now. Like, did done. you take a look at the other side when you got out? Yeah, we got in. It was like you know, the walls like this thin. You know, like <laughs> oh my God. I couldn't believe it, it stopped us. Like, you know, and if it was a normal house like with rebar, oh dude, we probably would like you know, we'd probably You'd been fucked. A whole other sh situation, you know, like. Huh. But I got, I took it and then the house just like, it was like on me pretty much. I got out and I was just like, just so dusty. Like, you know, like, and oh, I wow. went around. A funny thing though, was like, we like, we like had, um, we had just got like, we just went to the beach or something. Mm -hmm. And we like, me and Pat, Lana, like tied these shorts to the fucking, my, the, the driver's side mirror uh -huh. to dry them off. And I was like, man, you got a knot. I don't know. You know, I was like, you got like a serious knot. He's like, yeah, I got a knot. Like tied both of them on there. Okay. <laughs> and then we crashed. And then we went to the other side, went into the yard, and we're like, fucking, you know, whatever, looking at the, the rubbish, and then mm -hmm. fucking, he's like, 
dude, where's the shorts? And the fucking mirror had fell off, and we're like, ah, oh, I don't know. And then we like started digging through it. We found the fucking mirror, and the shorts were still tied. Still tied. <laughs> He's like, dude, I fucking told you I knew a knot. You know, and I was like, that's so funny. Man, what a life and death, it near was, death experience. It was nuts, man. Like, that's crazy, dude. And then you went home and did the hill? Yeah, like a week later. Jeez. <laughs> when I got home, though, I, I told the story to somebody. I was like at some bar or whatever, and I was just mm-hmm. some person like, yeah, I heard you almost fucking died or whatever. And they're like, is that black? And they're like, why didn't you jump out? And I was like, get the fuck away from me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, get away from me, dude. Like, I, we're done. Like, you know what I mean? You can't I don't jump out know of the it. car. Yeah. Driving yeah. everyone. Yeah, like, like, imagine, later. imagine, <laughs> six, <laughs> imagine 16 dude. dudes in the back and news just, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> just, just like, the only one that's, dude, that would be dives out of the car. In you, couldn't, you couldn't live like that anymore. No, no dude. Horrible. No way. You kill yeah. everybody on board. Captain mm-hmm. has to go down with the ship. That's man. right. Yeah. That's right. And I even commend you for, you know, turning it and taking the brunt of it on your side. I mean, it was you like, I mean, yeah, I, it, Cross my mind like that, and I just like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, you know, it's like so fast. Like, it's funny how everything just these choices you make, and everything turned out fine. <laughs> you know, yeah. except for the yurt, probably. Yeah, yeah. we, we fixed it. Oh, you did? Yeah, we gave. They were like, you know, like after we sat there for a while, and then we're like, how much is it gonna cost? You know, whatever. And they're like, this many fucking ran whatever, which is like whatever mm-hmm, money. And they're like, mm-hmm. and it ended up being like three hundred bucks or something. Oh, so, that's not bad. And oh, then they were like, we're gonna tonight. When we left, they're like, all right, you know, they were like, we're like homies with them now. And they're like, yeah, 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 like you guys fucking be safe and fucking, you know, we're gonna sacrifice a goat tonight for your fucking thing. Oh. And we're like, and we're like, okay, well, we're gonna barbecue the same thing, but just like normal stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna go buy some shit. We're gonna drink our brains out, and then you know, and but they said that, and they're like, you know, and then they sent a picture wow. to Mark Waters with the house fixed. Right, well, that's amazing. Yeah, wow. it was pretty rad. That's amazing, yeah, dude. Cool. Three stories now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and another thing is, like, just recently, maybe six months ago, a whole church group died on the same hill. The same right. hill. Same hill. Bus. Wow. A whole bus load. Brakes went out. Like, oh my gosh. Dude. 17, 18 people died or they something. They're going to close this road. This is like. It shakes our cars, dude. dude yeah, like, hell? also, the fucking airbag. It's like a brand new van. Brakes went out. No airbags no, anywhere. Nothing. Nothing. It was pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's horrible, man. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you have, like, those, um, you know, they got to have the little off ramp for the d- eighteen wheelers, the, the run off road. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's such a skinny road. I mean, it's, it sounds like it was just made by hand or something. It like was just straight some, like red dirt, right? Red, like, red, not rocks, right? Not, not gravel. It was just like straight dirt. You know what's funny dirt though? Road. I always think about like because I like driving. You it's know what I mean? Like I, I don't like to put my it's going to sound weird, but my life into somebody else's hands per se. Yeah, yeah, you no, know, yeah, yeah. like I want to be in control. Yeah. You know, if something happens, like I feel like I would know what to do. Do you ever feel that way? Like, you're like, dude, if somebody else was driving, like, this could have been a whole different scenario. Do you ever think of shit like that? Yeah, 100% I do. But, like, um, I like driving, too. And, like, mm-hmm. after that, I was like, from now on, I think I'm going to just chill back. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, you're just going to let it go. so much fucking stress. Yeah, I was like, dude. Yeah. But, like, fuck. I mean, but then we got another van. We had, two, we had to get two other vans. And then everybody was like, shaka new, shaka new. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking pretty funny, but. I mean, I want you driving wherever yeah. we go, bro. It was nuts, you know? dude. It Fuck. was so nuts. That must have been sketchy. I'm driving the other side, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a whole different thing, yeah. Yeah. right? But I got used to it because I, I did it in Australia, too, a few times. You yeah. know, like, and I always, I like, I love driving. You're know, like, driving here, it's almost second nature. It's almost yeah. like instinct, yeah. right? Yeah. And then now you're, even though you're used to it, you're on a different side. Yeah. It's almost. You're driving switch. You're driving switch. But the reason I like driving is because, like, I get car collapse if I'm not. I'll just what fucking pass out. Oh, really? You no, know, not, any, not see anything. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm driving, I don't get it. I'm like, I can see, I'm like looking around, like, you yeah, know, yeah. see all the shit, you know, like, huh. so I like, that's one reason. I what like about driving. planes? You fall asleep on planes? Instantly. Yeah. I've flown to Barcelona without, before takeoff and landed. Bullshit. I swear. Without any. Hot <laughs> boss was looking at me the whole time going, so he's so pissed. He was like, dude, I can't believe you just woke up when the fucking plane landed. Like, that's like my dream. Yeah, it's no. a blessing. That's like yeah, my I'm dream come true. <laughs> I, I can ball up and just without any like alcohol, yeah, nothing, nothing. Just, just, just pass out before your alcohol even gets there. I'm like done. <laughs> I'm or jealous. I can stay up too. Like, but I like um, I'll, I'll go to sleep. I'll, I'll choose to sleep. You know what I mean? Like, <sighs> yeah, if you can wake up there, ten hours. <laughs> oh my god, no that's a good. Crap. That's a good sleep. Yeah, yeah it's that's good. more than a good night sleep. Eight hours. Sometimes it fucks up because then you're like. You get there, at, or you know, like when then you get there at the wrong time, and you have to fucking oh, yeah. readjust. Yeah, readjust. Yeah, readjust. Yeah, readjust. Yeah, readjust. Yeah, readjust. Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah. fuck. 
yeah. being awake for 10 hours on a plane. Because every little bump or something, I'm, I'm one of those dudes who like nods off and then like twitches, you know? And I like, and I look around like, did everybody Wake see me twitch? twitch? <laughs> you know? It's fucked, man. Do you get sketchy on like on turbulence and stuff like that? Do you get sketched out? Oh, me? Yeah. Chris no, no, no. I, I don't care about flying. I don't no. care about turbulence or anything. I just no. care about uh, people seeing me twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrass you? are like, fuck. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. The person next to you or whatever. When you did it, I did it in school one time and knocked all my books off the desk and shit. <laughs> I just, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and, they're like, and they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And they're like, oh, nothing, man. Just, you know. It was a fucking bee in here. So like, Amazing. Oh, dude. Well, there's a lot of things that we need to get into, right? We need to get into your music. You play music in a band. You do volume four, a lot of stuff. But first things first, man, let's talk about fo. <laughs> <laughs> fa. Okay. My, fa, fo, fa. My favorite subject. Favorite <laughs> subject. Oh, sure. You love it. Love it. Your, your favorite food. Pretty much, yeah. Like if it was my on death row, I'd be like, Last meal, give me a bowl. Give me a bowl. Yeah. And how did you, is, is it pho or pho or what is it? I there? say pho. Pho? Yeah. Okay. When I go to a pho place, I, I get confused, right? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like, I, I almost don't know what to do with it. They get, you know, there's like different sauces and there's like, you could put an egg in it and there's a, like, what's the proper pho <clears throat> um, to get? If I guess if like, a, if I bring a friend that's never had pho before, mm -hmm. I'll just tell him to get the rare steak. Rare steak. It's just like a, you know. Like thin. thin basic, thinly sliced. It's like sure. rare. It cooks in the soup mm -hmm, while, mm -hmm. when you get it, you know. What about an egg? No, no. I, wouldn't, no I wouldn't do egg. No egg. Yeah, it's yeah, more no. like a ramen. That's like a ramen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. All the other garnishes and stuff, like, I go straight, like, first thing, you just actually have to taste it. Make taste sure it first. Make sure it's just legit. Sure. And then you just slowly do the thing. I do the sriracha. Okay. Some pepper. Mm -hmm. The little basil and sprouts and shit. Okay. And lime. For sure. Yeah. And then that's it. No like soy sauce or no different. Maybe some hoisin if it's. Some just hoisin. Yeah, that, it that's just, it just depends. Yeah. But like, yeah, but usually like my mom just straight eats it with nothing. Just straight up puts like a jalapeno in it and fucking goes. That's it. Yeah. Really? She's like, that's how you're supposed to eat it. If it's good, that's how you should eat it. Is there a certain place that you go to? I have like so many places that I go to, like um, just wherever I'm at, you know, like depends on what side of town or what state or wherever the, f you know, wherever I'm at. Like mm -hmm. I have my spots, but like uh, in LA, I go to like Blossom or like Fa Cafe or Fa 87 mostly. Hmm. Okay. Like it depends on where I'm in at the town, you know, like in like yeah. China Towns, Fa 87. If I'm in Silver Lake by my house, I go to Blossom. Okay. You know, like how like, many times a week you think? Five. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah, 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 at tiny. least. That you're always. I could go every day. Every day. But I fucking it sucks because I'm like you know like I'll ask my girlfriend like hey where do you want to go eat and you know like, I'll ask her like hey where do you want to go eat. Just hoping she says pho, you know, but like she does though. She's fucking pretty hooked on it She's too. pretty hooked. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're hoping that she'll say yeah, yeah. pho. Yeah. Or if I'm like skating and with the pasta, I'm like, where do you guys want to eat? <laughs> you know, I, like, you know, like, don't ask me because I'll tell you, know, like, I'll, you'll you say know, it. I'll say it, but like, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, but yeah, I, could, I could eat it every, every day. Every day? Yeah. Wow. My dad literally did eat it every day. Oh yeah? Yeah. I, I, I got to eat more because I do enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. It's really fucking good. It's like a morning thing. Like I eat it for breakfast mostly. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, I consider it more of like a lunch or dinner thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, lunch is good. Yeah. Dinner sometimes, but like m mostly during the day, I think like, oh. like my dad would like, that's where his meetup with his homie spot would be like, go get some pho. Go get the pho and then fucking, mm. you know. Yeah. Don't you have it tattooed on you too? Yeah. There it is. A bowl of noodles. A bowl of pho and a pool stick. So it's like, fuck you. <laughs> wow <laughs> i like i like the thinking on that and then you know a, and then a you win some you dim some <laughs> <laughs> i like it i like it man um well speaking of pool you're a big pool player you guys do this uh pool party yeah um with eric bragg mm -hmm. you know Was i heard in new york we just did one in new york yeah, yeah. how did that go it was good yeah it's fun like uh, yeah it's just i mean i love playing pool anyways we mm -hmm. we we, we, we would play pool anyway if we were in New York and you yeah. know, at the same places we had the thing at. So mm -hmm. it just worked out pretty good. I heard you're a pool shark. I heard you I heard you you win a lot of them. I mean, I wouldn't say shark. I just like to play pool. Yeah. I just like, you know. <laughs> you, ever, you ever hustle anybody? You ever pretend you don't play? No, and then no, 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 no. Never like hustled anybody. Like, no. You know, like I suck and then, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah no. no. I'm like, I'll play people for money though. Like, yeah. you know, I love playing for money and like, I'll okay. lose and win, you know? So, yeah. yeah. I heard you're pretty, I heard you, you, you win a lot of these though. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, but 
There's mm. been a lot too, though. Like, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Sounds fun, though. Yes. You guys are, I mean, you guys are going to go worldwide soon. It sounds like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like LA to New York and now Hopefully. where else? Do you have any other plans? Not really. No? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it'd be sick to like, you know, somehow like do it other places and sure. shit like that, like, like during like skate events or something, you know, like, That'd I know, be rad. you know, like, yeah, fucking make a wish or something or That'd be rad. damn man, try to have some shit there, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, you know, it's all like, mostly it's all, it's a lot of skaters in it, you know, like Ishad will fucking come play, mm -hmm. you know, like, mm -hmm. Uh, d is it once a week or like once a month? Once a week. Once a week. Which is fucking it's a lot gnarly. Of pool. So we're gonna like, stop that, like do once a month type, or <laughs> oh, really? twice a month or something, you know, like, because yeah. once a week is pretty nuts. I'm like, dude. I got other shit to do. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I can imagine every other week. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good to me. I did a podcast yeah. every week. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what do you guys win? Like, if, if every week, is there like a certain prize? You just go to the next round? Or? No, it's just like... Eric makes a trophy, I think, right? Yeah, we, we like make a trophy. Mm -hmm. We try to make a trophy. <clears throat> like, we'll have like special... Like, neck face made a trophy. Dope. A bunch of different people made trophies and stuff, you know? like, But... It's mostly about the cash. You pull, you pull yeah. money in, right? Yeah, yeah, like twenty bucks to get in, and yeah. then fucking sometimes it's like six hundred bucks. Ooh. You know? Not bad for a night's work. Not yeah. bad. And you, you win? Mo do you win most of them? I've won a few. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I've won like fourteen right of them. You know, fourteen. <laughs> fourteen out of sixteen. No, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's been a year. So okay, you know, that's every the, yeah. every week. The best part is like because I DJ sometimes too. Oh, okay. At the, at the place. Oh. And then you know we get a cut of the bar for doing it. So Boom. when you get the trifecta, that's when you like fucking just paid rent. You're you like, get the oh, fucking, dude. oh, you win the pool thing. You get paid for being the DJ. And you split the bar. <laughs> wow, not a bad gig. I mean, and all your friends are, <clears throat> and all yeah, friends you just, just have a good time. Yeah, yeah, just chilling. <laughs> and you get to listen to good, or, you know, music that you like to listen to and shit. And yeah, time. you're the winner here, dude. I know. <laughs> Seriously, you're the ultimate winner. Raj, I quit the nine club. I'm gonna go join the pool. I'm gonna go join the pool party yeah. later. But also, too, uh, let's talk about volume four. Because uh, the company you started, and uh, do you do it alone, or you have uh, who you do a uh, Baca? Well, it's like me, Baca, and Herman. Oh, br oh Brian Herman. Yeah, Sick. and then um, I do most of it. You know. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. Just oh, like, dope. Which I like. It's we were in Baker forever, you know, and then um, mm -hmm. now we just kind of did it scaled back, and I just wanted to keep it small. And yeah, you know, right. Now, when you start a company like Volume Four, right? I'm sure you just start off small, a couple mm -hmm. little things here and there, some dope shirts. You you know you wear them, and then all of a sudden, like you go to like Baker Boys Distribution, right? Mm -hmm. How does that change doing a company? Like you said, like now now you're back doing it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Like how does that how does that work? And how do you like how does it change things? Does yeah, it, how do you scale back like that? Does it's, it affect the brand a little bit? A little because, bit. I mean, but Baker. They fucking killed it for us, obviously. Sure. You know, like they just kind of like just like, boom, you're in fucking everywhere, everywhere. You know, right? And then, but also at the same time, you know, they wanted or, you know, they want more shit so they can sell more shit. Yeah, you know? Of course. So right. you're like, fuck, they're cut. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I want to be like making fucking three shirts a season or something. You know? Yeah. Which is kind of difficult, but like, it's cool though. I mean, they we did it. Feel. Yeah. yeah. And then we did it, and it was fun. We we're the only brand out of Baker that like, you know, we're like pre-booking and like, mm. you know, cause it was a clothing kind of brand, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it'd be like a year and a half in advance and stuff. And like, that so that's tough. Th that part was tough, you know, like trying to get on that schedule. Sure. But now we're back to like, just doing it on our own and Dope. like, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. And like, I get to like, you know, like I'm gonna start trying to do some more graphics and shit on my mm -hmm, own mm -hmm. just cause I like doing that stuff anyway. And like, yeah, I just like doing it and it's fun. Do you have someone do like doing production for you or are you like doing it yourself? Are you sourcing out? I'm doing it all kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like small scale and it's like yeah. fun and like, you know, and like the dudes in the, you know, we have the sickest team, like, you know, if I can, everybody on it's fucking totally. rad mm -hmm. and like, and they're still like, dude, we're cool. Like whatever you do, don't trip. It's all good. We're for here. For sure. You know? And I'm like, you guys can bail. So, you know, <laughs> yes, I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, like, yeah. And they're like, no, we, you know. But it's just they, rad being yeah, a part of something yeah. rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what and I mean? That like, you're like homies are doing. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd and love to be on the team. Thank you, bro. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Look, I brought you guys. Oh, stuff, man. thank you. Let, let's. What is this? Live heavy, travel light. Oh, yeah. coffee. Let me. Let me get some. Ooh, that's tight. Some of those. Let's see. Thank you, bro. Hey, this is this is great, bro. 
Live happy, travel with your coffee. I'm gonna fucking put my coffee in there <laughs> oh, right now, use. bro. There you go. How oh that, wow, huh? coffee and beer, two different. Uh, it's multi-use. <laughs> you know? Here we go. Put anything in it. And I, I, the cup, the the cap is good too, because yeah. uh, last episode, a uh, fly flew in there. They can but, still get in there. Yeah, but so I mean. It's rad because I always trip on like a small brand going into like a distribution because like you said, like now you have to produce. Yeah, yeah. Now it becomes this bigger thing. Yeah. And it's like, maybe there's like a time and a place for doing that, yeah, right? You, yeah. you, you get to a certain point, you're like, now there's almost no other, like, I, like you have to do that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's it like now? So you said you're not in there anymore? Yeah, we're just out of a garage little spot doing it on our own and then so you're not going a year and a half in advance no no we're just like kind of doing like more direct oh nice okay Mm -hmm. cool now can you keep a lot of your accounts and stuff yeah yeah yeah. bigger helped us out so much and like you Mm -hmm. know and they're like Mm -hmm. they're obviously fucking our dudes and like they even after we left they're like yo like here's all the stuff and here's the shit and like like, here's the accounts and stuff you know so it's going good it's going four yeah Yeah. it's going it's going okay (laughs) (laughs) okay no but like you said it's rad like we do nine club gear and stuff like yeah, that yeah. it's small you know yeah. but we have a good time doing we it we haven't yeah, tried it's... going to shops yet with it oh my god we can't even imagine I mean, you know like yeah it, i started when i couldn't skate because i got hurt and i couldn't skate for like a few months oh and i was like just like fuck what am i gonna do for six months mm. <clears throat> and i just got a bunch of le- i just like i don't know i'll just make some leather shit you know yeah and then started fucking getting into it super heavy and like started making wallets and stuff okay and then people were like yo make me a wallet and i'm like okay and then one thing led to another. We just kept, down. Yeah, just snowballed down, and then we we're like, "All right, fucking." Is there anything behind the name? Me and Baka were like, "Yo," because he was on Altima, and I was like on Commune at the time. When mm-hmm. we were like way back, and we we're like, "Fuck," you know, shit was kind of like crumbling around us, and we we're like, "Let's start a fucking little something," you know. And yeah, he yeah, was yeah. like, "All right, what are we gonna call it?" And I was like, "I don't know." And I'm like in my car talking to him, you know. I'm like, just like picking all my songs on like my radio. I was like, just went to like a Sabbath album, and just like popped up Volume Four, and I was like. That's pretty. I was like, well, that's pretty cool. Like, you know, <laughs> the way it just was on my radio, on my stereo too. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that looks pretty cool. And he's like, that is pretty sick. You know. And, and I was like, all right, fuck it. That's and, pretty. And that's how wow. it came. You know. That's Literally, that's amazing. Yeah. And then we like trademarked the name and did all this shit. And then yeah, yeah. Kelly. Now like our friends know Kelly Osborne, and she kind of like gave us a blessing too. Like she like hit up Ozzy and was like, oh dope. Is it cool? And they're like. Yeah, it's cool if I can, you know. <laughs> That's so tight. Yeah, like, got a fucking straight blessing from the man. The man. Volume four. That's my restaurant. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's a volume fa. Volume fa. <laughs> hey. Coming soon, huh? That'd be tight. I love it, bro. <laughs> You're on cons now. Mm-hmm. You were circa before. Yep. How long were you on circa? Combat team. The what? Circa combat, combat team. Yeah. Combat team. I was on Duffs for a while, and then it got on con- or on circa. Oh yeah, Duffs. Yeah. Yeah. Duffs for a while. Yeah. And then Circa. How was that, Circa? It was cool at the time. It was good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what, uh, Mario Miller was working there. Yeah. Frank was on there too, right? Yeah. yeah. That was the that was a selling point for me. He was like, oh. they were like, Frank's going to be on. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> are you positive? And they're like, yeah, Frank's on. I was like, okay, I'm in. And Did then, you call Frank to make sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then those trips were so fun because like, you know, it was like. Because Frank's there. Yeah, Frank, sure. Lizard, you know. Yeah. Lizard was crazy doing whatever. My fucking homie already. But like Frank was like the selling point, you know. Just yeah. Like, just funniest dude alive. I want to be on a team with Frank. <laughs> dude. It's the best. Yeah. I'm, we're back on, I think, you know, like. He's on cons too now. So that's like, right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So how did the cons thing come into in, into play? I think Dave for a while, Dave Huang Dave worked Wayne. there for forever. Yeah. And then Steve Luther worked there forever too. Right. And they were like, the whole time they're like, let's get him on. And they're like, all right, I don't mm-hmm. know. And then kind of like when Circuit kind of died, um, I met with Andy. Doctor. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Andy. Dr. Mm-hmm. Andy. And he Andy was like, Henry? Yeah, yeah, Andy yeah. Henry. Yeah. yeah. And he, I just met up with him and he's like, I was like, and he was the dude at the time. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, what's up? And he's like, all right, let's figure this out. And then he just came through and wow. got me the deal. And then he's a great dude. Yeah, Andy. solid. Yeah, yeah, solid guy. Uh, great team, dude. Great yeah. company to be in, man. Converse. Fun tri- yeah, fun, fun trips. I bet. Yeah. You guys are traveling a lot. Yeah. You go on a lot of these trips that they go on? It's I like, go on a few. Good. Yeah. It's I crazy. Been on, a, been on in a while, but yeah. Fucking guy Kenny yeah. Anderson's gone like half the year. He just texted me today. He's like, hey, I'm in Tokyo right now. Can your girlfriend help me with some people to hang out with you're, <laughs> you're like where am i like yeah. what the fuck <laughs> like i'm always tripping on this guy like yeah. how do you get where, where? he's the most fucking interesting man in the world he is he kind of is yeah everywhere it's, you go he's like got a dialed it's yeah insane have you seen him dance 
Yeah. He's nicknamed Skittles. That's his <laughs> breakdancing <laughs> name. He's gnarly. He's gnarly. Yeah. Does he yeah. still break that out? Every oh. now and again, he'll like, if there's like a battle going on, he's, oh, like, yeah. he's just ever like, he'll, he'll be watching the first set and you know, like, yeah, <laughs> got this and yeah. then just roll up yeah. in there and who's just, this majestic dude <laughs> <laughs> it's a special moment when he does <laughs> yeah, break a, out the break dancing wow volume four converse baker oh my easy. god bro hmm? easy oh the band, band stuff yeah let's talk about that how is uh what do you play i play bass bass now bass seems to me like uh i'm, I'm not musically inclined at all i can't even hold a, a whistle <laughs> um how, like bass seems to me that it's very relaxed yeah. it's very kind of you're just kind of in the corner maybe Chill. just mm -hmm. boom, 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 just jamming yeah right i love it yeah okay it's like the like, drum and bass is like the fucking like i, I feel like that's like the fucking back the spine of the, it, the music you know totally like, i agree but i uh, like I'm, i just i started playing the guitar first but then when we started arctic with figgy and frex mm -hmm. we just needed a bass player so are you guys still doing arctic yeah. yeah what kind of music is it arctic is like kind of heavier kind of like hard rock can anybody go find the music or? yeah it's on like spotify and shit and then there's okay. like it's on the outer battery records too oh so how does that work do you guys have we're millionaires like from these fucking <laughs> record deals, but no, I'm just kidding. No, no. Nooch has it all figured out, man. No, it's like a, it's sick. It's just like, you know, small record label. And oh, no. our friend Dave Sweetapple runs it. Oh, it's cool. Like, he runs TP Records as well, too, which is like a lot of band, like Earthless and shit's on. Okay. But um, Earthless is huge. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. Well, but we're on their- The shows are amazing, too. Yeah, they're the fucking best. Yeah. Huh. So we're on that label. And then with the other band, Easy, I played bass in as well. Um, oh, Easy. Yeah. That's not hard rock. It's like kind of like just rock mm. pop. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it looks like you got an album out. I mean, mm -hmm. how does that happen? We did easy. We did it on our own. We just like, all right, let's do it. Just what? you know, by ourselves. Are That's you selling a, that, it through Volume Four, or how do you just, distribute it? Um, our friend, the guy, uh, the singer Josh Landau. He's like, he's in the that band, The Shrine, mm -hmm. and uh, he's just that band kind of blew up, and they had their own little, just little hub of like. Mm -hmm. It's called Eliminator Records, and they just started doing their own shit, printing okay. their shirts and printing their merch, and you know, it's like oh, rad. So then he was like, "Let's just do it on our own instead of you know sourcing out and you know, like having some label own our shit, you know." Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we just did it on our own, and oh. then made like whatever five hundred or something, and then mm. trying to sell them. Only records or CDs and records and tapes, and then digital. Okay, like, iTunes. Can you get it on iTunes? Yeah, yeah, or? it's on iTunes. How yeah. well do you guys do on iTunes? I have no idea. Right? Do people still buy cassette, ta cassette tapes? Yeah, it's weird. It, it came back. Just really? like records came back too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because it was always CDs and for a while, you know? Yeah. yeah. And we don't even make CDs. We're like, because now it's, I've, I've always collected records because I like fucking holding a fucking giant thing and like when you open it up, there's more shit it's to see. The you know? artwork. Yeah. The it's artwork. A, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like a poster. Sometimes you'll see lyrics and shit, you know, whatever. Totally. And then tapes made it back too. Like this is Arctic, right? That's yeah. Arctic. Yeah. Oh, Arctic, sick. Me, me, me Fig and Frex. That's that's us. Those water buffaloes. Oh, that's, is there, that's, there's that's a, a song. Theory, called, which one is you? This is, I don't know. There's a song <laughs> called Day One. Day One song. Day One. <laughs> wow. That's our most tech song, by the way. <laughs> it's like the it's like the gnarly. We're like when we wrote it, we're like, dude. We're all in the you know in the garage. And we're like, Fuck, this is fucking pretty tech, dude. And we're like. Let's just call it day one. So. Dude, it's over smoked, cryptic black sun, <laughs> burnt ice, day one, and then higher. How amazing <laughs> is that? Day it, day one song. We That's genius. We posted it yeah. on Instagram and he fucking like sent back the fucking beer emojis. The, the cheer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude. If you ever need a whistler, I'll, I'll try to practice. You, you know? play piano? I can play the Cheers theme song on piano. Really? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Could be a good intro. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's pretty sick. I can only play on the piano is uh, Shimmy Shimmy Ya. Shimmy Shimmy Ya. It's two notes. <laughs> two, two, two. That's pretty sick still. Though. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Not only are you a musician, <laughs> you're, not, you're an actor. You're a man of many talents. <laughs> man of many talents, <laughs> yeah. huh? No, but you played um, Shogo Kubo's, what is it, stunt double or something? In, I, uh, I actually or, played him. You actually played him. And did his stunts, which was funny because once we figured out there was a stunt, bump and money right? yeah. yeah yeah we found that out like a month in which we were on there for like four months almost or something okay we're all hyped <laughs> yeah we're like what so we just bail 10 more times and we get every time we try we get more money 
you know, like, oh, that's how it works. <laughs> we were like, when we figured it out, we were like, okay, just bail everything. You know, like, <laughs> sure. It's like fucking bail, this, fall, like whatever, you know, this like, movie's never going to get made. <laughs> yeah. Bail an extra fucking five, seven times. You know what I mean? That, that's, so they pay you for every fall because well, why? I mean, every, it's you know, like a stunt was like a, a car went by and then fucking uh -huh. whatever. And then that's just considered a stunt or something, you know? Hmm. And then when you had to do like a trick or something, yeah. like, you know, they're filming you for do like one thing. Mm -hmm. That's a stunt. So like I did like a hippie jump over a uh, shabby cart. Okay. You know, belled fucking 10 times and fucking <laughs> did it. And then it's like 300 bucks or something each try. Wow. Really? I mean, you can make a couple grand just yeah, like, in one trick. I was like, what? Should have been bailing this whole fucking time. I know, you know right? Like, well, after a while, they're gonna be like, "All right, dude. all right." <laughs> <laughs> I know you can make this. Yeah. That was a fun thing to do, actually. The pain it you made like is costing them more money at the same time. That's yeah, true yeah. with all For the film. film. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It does. It does sound like a fun time, though. You're skating. You're actually like playing this person who is an iconic yeah. figure. You know, in Did skating. Did you hang out with Shibu? I hung out with him after it was done. Oh, really? I met him. Oh, you didn't even go and uh, I mean, do a little did. research. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, I just like, just skate wise, like just like footage and stuff. Mm -hmm, like, but mm -hmm. I never, I never got to talk to him before. Huh. But um, then he f came over from Hawaii and then we hung out afterwards. Oh, so, dope. Yeah. Did he like the movie? Yeah, he was stoked that he was like, that I got He's to like, yo, you it. nailed it. <laughs> That's <laughs> rad. That is fucking dope. But man, it was fucking, when we started it, it was like, um, I just blow my blew my knee out. Oh no! So I had like I was doing physical ther therapy for six months, and then the movie started at the six month part. Oh, and geez. then so I couldn't really skate anyway, and so it was like a perfect kind of like mesh into skating again. You know, because they're oh, like wow. they're like, well, you we don't really want you to skate outside of this, and I was like, cool, because I can't really. Oh, and you can only really skate these boards and these pools and stuff. You know, so okay. like skating the pools and stuff kind of like. Help me get my balance and shit back. Carving around. Carving and around sure. and like not even ollieing and shit, you know, just like yeah. pumping and carving and shit. And mm -hmm. kind of like built it back up on another level because oh. I was, I did physical, physical therapy for like six months. Okay. Got there, just skated pools for like three months. So mm. then after it was done, I was like fucking back to like kind of normal, you know? Oh, perfect. Yeah, it was like, perfect like, seems like that would scare me like yeah. oh my god i got this knee thing the movie's coming up they may replace me with somebody else like the they didn't even know thing. i didn't even, I didn't even, really didn't even tell, tell them yeah i just like <laughs> didn't tell them you know good, like, good yeah. enough yeah 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 <laughs> keep quiet after yeah. the movie did you slim down your board size no i, no? I think it went up really because i i remember like my knee if i like, got back on my normal board like eight two five and i was like what the fuck is this like a tooth you know it felt so skinny really so i like stepped it up even after skating like the old yeah 70s boards yeah wow Let's talk about Baker. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, listen, Baker 4 yeah, is, is going to come out. We've all been waiting for it. There's been multiple people on this show who have talked about Baker 4. We're working on it. And working on it. Um, how, was your, how was your part looking? Good? <sighs> Pretty slim. Oh, <laughs> come on, Nuge. I mean, yeah, a couple of things, but yeah. like, you know, I got some stuff, but I'm like, you know, I want it to be fucking good and like, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah. Obviously, but it's coming up though. It's not. It's gotta. We gotta. We gotta push back. Another pushback. Oh, no Another pushback. Oh man! But not too much of a pushback. Okay. Like a, like a six month pushback. Still that enough time to go and do some shit. Yeah. Sure. Band practice. Baca. I talk to Baca all the time because yeah. he's like he comes out here. He's comes from Vegas. So I'll take a bus here mm. and just he has like a little window because he has kids and shit. You know. So oh, he's, like, okay. he's like I got four days. You know, like he's like he's going. Every weekend is the deadline in his brain. Oh, that's wow, good. that's, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah. He's like I think of it like that and like. Damn it. I need your brain. Like, yeah. Well, dude, he finds the craziest spots. I that know. must be fun to like go skate with that guy. He's the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's so good too. Like, like flip tricks and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up. I'm like, damn it. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking good. I, saw, I know. I saw him play fucking like a game of skate for like an hour. It just didn't end. And I was like, dude, what are you you're just like landing <laughs> tricks you never even tried? I dude. would you know, love like, to see Baca in a Battle of the Barracks game. I know. No, right. Seriously. I, yeah. yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. He would probably do good probably, too. Like yeah. So I mean Baker Four but when Baker Four comes out though, like this is this this would be like the first Baker video that you'd be in. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because you missed out on Baker 2, Baker 3. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got to get some good, you got to yeah. get a good shit, bro. Yeah, Would you I ever know. skate to your music? No. Not the Day One song? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? But nah. Will Arctic or Easy have any music in Baker 4? I want to skate to some hip hop. Because back in the day, like, all my sponsor videos and shit that 
weren't even sponsored. I just made it for my with my homies and shit. Uh-huh. It was always like Gangstar or fucking Tribe or something, you know? Like, oh, I'd love to see you skate for that <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Be good. DJ Premier. Yeah. Yep. He's the man. Dude, some good shit. Got a good heel flip yet for it? No, I got a pretty good Vero heel, though. Oh, you got mm. a good... You, you always got a good No, I got heel saying my Vero heel is good, but I has got like a yeah. pretty well, fun one. Well, you do <laughs> And front side heel. Less setup time, I feel like, for heel flips. Yeah. Kick flips, I feel like I got to set up in a certain way. Heel flips, I feel like More your thought. foot's it's just there. Yeah, it's almost like you're... Because it's in the same position as like an ollie, almost, but just a little bit... Yeah, a little bit for... Yeah, 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 for sure. I can't wait to see that. And plus, uh, I, I love the fact that it's going to be HD. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's just going to give this other little dimension to that whole Baker vibe. I just, yeah, you know? I just love film with Beagle. Like, he's like the best person. Like, you know, he knows if it's a possibility or not if i'm for me or whatever he's like he's like yeah you got it for sure yeah. or he's like this is go dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know that's like, a good film no that's straight up and that's I'll be amazing like, okay <laughs> you're right you're right <laughs> you know get some fuck <laughs> yeah but battle this for your fucking three <laughs> right. days or whatever you know like he's like this is know. not good for you but it's perfect for murdy <laughs> <laughs> let's get it exactly. let's get it beagle does seem like the perfect guy to uh, he seems like the guy that you want to be filming with no always just yeah. having fun just he knows he's a good time he, he knows the skaters really well yeah, it's yeah. crazy just and the shit that he captures yeah, all the shit behind the scenes and like you know side oh, scenes man. So we're in, pa- we were in Paris and shit, and he was, we were filming something. We were like skating, and then he was just like, I looked over, and he was just like, tripping out, like <laughs> tripping out, like in the sky. And I was like, What the fuck is he looking at? He's like, Spanky, Spanky, Spanky. And I was like, Where the fuck? And then I see Spanky, and then a fucking like a feather comes down. And he's like, Caught it, you know. And he filmed this whole thing from so far away. You know what I mean? Like just a feather falling down. Forest Gump or whatever that movie was. Yeah. Like, what? And he was like, and I was like, right. What the fuck is he doing? You know, like I was like across the street, like. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm like, and he's like, Spanky, Spanky, Spanky. Like, and Spanky's going, what? And he's like, oh, just caught him. You know, like he had filmed there for like two minutes or something. You know, like coming down from the sky. I hope that makes like, a cut. No, but Spanky didn't realize what he was talking about until the last second. He just was like this, just grabbed it, just like no prop, like just like reached up, was like, and then and then, and then he drew Beagle, out the sketch, and then the smile on Beagle's face behind him, he was like, just like you know, like so hype, <laughs> so hype, you know, like. I was like, God damn it, that was amazing. Like, <laughs> but that's like, that's magic. Yeah, like, like that, nobody you even, else. You can't even like stage that, or you're like, you're gonna go to the top of a building and drop a feather. Right, it's not gonna work. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, Be- Beagle, say spanky, and then he'll catch it. You know, it's like, it's yeah, it's like, it's like I said, it's magic. This guy just sees things that nobody else yeah. can see and captures it, and magically has this dog that can skate. Oh, There's gonna be God. a documentary on him one day. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there will be. Yeah. What else should we talk about? Should we? Any Anything else we need to we should go over? I feel like you should go into Oklahoma a little bit. Oh, go ahead, Raj. No, I'm just <laughs> saying. Oh, well, what do you want to know? There's like a whole bunch of Oklahomies that came out of Oklahoma. What city? I grew up in uh, Oklahoma City. It's what, flat. What do you call the homies there? Oklahomies? Oklahomies. Oklahomies. This tattoo right here. Oh, you got That's it on the, the first thing? little skate posse. TDS. TDS. The Death the, Squad. The Death Squad. I don't know where it came from. It just happened. And just... <laughs> Now we're here. You know. <laughs> Oklahomies came from Muska, by the way. Oh, he, he did? He came to Oklahoma, and we hadn't even thought of Oklahomies. You know, like, we just had this little posse, and he came and kicked it with everybody, skated, and he was like, man, Oklahomies are sick. You know, like, and just... That was it. He coined it. So That's he, incredible. That's wow. I gotta give credit to the Muska. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and he said he had the best time, and we gave him one, because we had these medallions made and shit, you know? Oh, sick. We gave him one, he's like, I still have it, dude. Like, you know, I still have it, for sure, like. 100% he still has it. Dude, Musk is in a man. box somewhere. He's the best. Yeah. He's the best. When he can coin a phrase that you use to this day, yeah. it's incredible. And he, and he took all the homies out to like dinner, you know, like to like a, they, everybody, everybody there is like, dude, he's the shit. And then he's like, everybody there is the shit, you know, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. such a sick thing. Like he was such, such a people person and like, he's, he's the incredible. Legend. Yeah. He's a legend. Yeah. yeah exactly. Who'd you, who'd you grow up skating with? Uh, my friend Grant, Skulls, Robbie and Billy, but like just random homies. But then like when I've met like Peter and like Ernie and those dudes, yeah. they were from Tulsa. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like we, that's like an hour. An hour seemed like fucking six hours sure. you know, okay. but yeah. back then. But like we'd skate all the time. See him at the only, the first skate park that I went to was in Dallas because we didn't have a skate park in Oklahoma. So yeah. we had to drive like two hours, two and a half hours to Texas. Oh, okay. And then we'd see them there too. And be like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, and then, oh, then well. you know, parks started opening up in Oklahoma and then we started hanging out and then right. skating, you know? Yeah. But, 
Was it hard to leave Oklahoma to come out here? Like, leave all your buddies behind? or Kind of, but, you know, like, fuck. It is cold, too. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I'm fucking over this. Like, yeah, in the wintertime. You know? Yeah. It's like either too hot or too cold or windy or too rainy, and you got fucking two months of perfectness. Two months is not enough time. Not enough. Yeah. Or it could be the complete opposite, where it'd be like, you know, six months of good shit, and then... Boom, tornado tore down the whole place. Jeez. You know what I mean? Like That's what freaks me out, bro. Tornadoes. The weather out there, the yeah, tornadoes and shit. Cuz it's like I think it's right in the middle, so it's getting it's getting all kinds of crazy fucking, you Have know. you ever been caught in a tornado? I saw the gnarliest tornado that's ever existed. <laughs> what? With my eyes. <laughs> in Oklahoma, yeah, May 3rd something 1999. Yeah, May 3rd. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. 12:15 a.m. Yeah, we were like out skating and stuff and like um just normal day skating and then all of a sudden it was like got super quiet it got windy and then it uh -huh. kind of rained and then it died sunny quiet and then we're like what the fuck and then it started hailing and they were like okay well we should get our cars into the skate go somewhere you're not thinking much of it yeah got pulled into the pulled our cars into the old skate park you know huh? and then like then the shit just was like boom and then we we're like watching the news and like Tornadoes usually don't come into the town, like city, you know, like where buildings and stuff are. So he's on like out in the plains and yeah. stuff, you know. Why not? That's weird. It's just because in the, the open, way that the air yeah, open in, in the plains, it's like it's uh, you know yeah. they're circulating yeah. better earth yeah. out there. Yeah. So when he gets okay. in the town, it's just like there's nowhere to fizzle out. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, interesting. But this motherfucker was a mile wide. What? It was you know because the thing the the scale only goes into like you know F one F five. This was an F six. They had to create a new scale. New it new was number. Off the Richter. Yeah. It was out. It was like new shit, you know, Holy like mile wide, just a wall that went straight through the just town. Tearing apart shit. Yeah, tearing apart shit. Like my junior high, high, part of the high school is gone. My grandparents' house gone. Like the whole thing gone. Wow. And you can see like it, when they were like showing like the helicopter footage of it. Mm -hmm. It was just like a line, like a white line that just went straight through. Oh my gosh. Of, it just gone. whatever was in its path. Gone. And then what's weird is like sometimes like we went to the place and like... um another tornado happened like kind of recent when i was like out here already oh. skating for bigger and stuff and another crazy okay. one happened and me and clint did like a tornado board like for relief fund type thing oh wow that's amazing and then we went we went to oklahoma on another like, the same right around the same time me and my friends went there and like brought a bunch of shit you know just for them whatever Man. and then you can drive by all the houses are gone and then like one part of like a closet with all the clothes still be on it you know what i mean like oh, that's it's insane. weird like weird little things Whoa. like that you know like how much money you guys raised for uh we, we just did the board and then we gave all the money to red cross it was like 14 grand or something oh wow. that's yeah. amazing and they were like just from one board yeah just like me and clint we just teamed up and did one board through baker you know like yeah that's great because i was like man we gotta do you know we're from oklahoma yeah let's fucking do something you know yeah. and he was like i'm down let's do it and then baker was down they did it and then Sick. sold all that shit and then we just gave it to red cross you know like and they were super stoked they're like dude just, we never heard skateboarders do anything like this you know and i was like well, now you have. Yeah, now you yeah. have. Well, that shit hit home for you guys. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it true. Was gnarly. So yeah. you saw this big fucking wall of black fucking wall of just like, and we were like, and we were like, you know, because we're far away from like we're downtown. So we're so we're downtown Oklahoma, and it was like going through kind of like probably like a few miles away, but you can see it. You know what I mean? Like just like a fucking black fucking wall of like three hundred mile winds in it, just like. Oh my God! Houses out. Like, was there shit flying around you guys at all, or is that pretty far? It was still? pretty far still. Uh, you know, because you know, it's only it can only go like one direction. It doesn't just like oh, sh doesn't yeah. like zigzag through. The, you know, okay. It just goes like one direction, and it usually doesn't even make it to the town or hmm. to the city. You know, right, right, right. Interesting. I never even uh, thought about tornado. I, I kind of assumed that they just kind of whenever where went wherever the wind was going. Yeah. I didn't realize they go in a straight line. It just goes kind of straight. Do you have any friends that like became storm chasers? No, but I had a friend that was in his house when that shit happened. Right. <laughs> like that same tornado? Same tornado. And this was in Moore, Oklahoma, uh -huh. which is where I went to high school or whatever. But like um, my friend Ryan, he was like in his house, you know, in like a n nice neighborhood, you know, like full on neighborhood. Right. You know, houses everywhere. He said the shit happened. He like got his mattress, got in his closet, laid down, <laughs> heard the shit happening, <laughs> whatever, heard it, it was gone, got out. And he was in his front yard. Oh! <laughs> and then he's like, and then he's like, fuck. Like, you know, obviously just panicked the fuck out because he's looking around. There's nothing, no houses no more. 
And he's like looking around and he sees his neighbor like trying to get people out of like his house. So he runs over there and he's like, helps him to get his kid out. And then this is like, fuck. He said he just took off running. Just like booked it. Like, you know, like. Just for no reason. Just for no just, reason. Just ran towards his parents' house, which is like 10 miles away or something. Just like, you know, didn't make he, it there. You know, just, he just ran whatever. Wow. That's so your, your friend was holding onto his mattress the entire time, the entire not time. L- like looking. Yeah, just like was just like just like hunkered down, you know. Like, in why this. do closets stay intact? <laughs> Apparently, it didn't because he was outside of it. You know what I mean? Oh, when he took the mattress off, he was like, outside. He was in the front. He was on his. Well, oh, I thought you meant when yeah. he opened the closet door, he was no. In the there front, was yeah. he had no he was house a, left. Was house <laughs> there was how did he not get ripped out? I don't know. It's just weird. How did he not get picked up and thrown in the? I think he got picked up and thrown out. But you know what I mean? Like he was just like. There was so much shit happening, like you know, like it was just like. Yeah, he couldn't tell where he was. Yeah, he or didn't where know he was moving. To. Yeah, yeah, like, God damn, man. I mean, people th- think of California like, oh my God, you have earthquakes and yeah. this and that. It's just like this yeah. shit's like every year. Finger of God. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't they have like basements out there and stuff? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot like, of the storm, a lot of the, like storm, storm cellars, and storm stuff. shelters. Yeah, like mm. a lot of them. A lot of old houses have them. Okay. My my parents' house didn't have it, but no. the neighbors had one. But now they bought like an above ground one where it's like fucking bolted into the fucking earth. Still, it thing, seems you know? like I'd want to be underground. Yeah. Yeah, because she can still smash into you. Yeah. What do they have like tornado warnings where like a big like alarms go off or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Like, like every Saturday at noon, they have like they test the. They test yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And w- sometimes when I've been on trips and shit, and like uh, some people are like, what the fuck is that? No- are we under attack? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yeah. no, no, it's just the fucking, you know. Yeah. It's a tornado thing. <laughs> oh, God, news, man. <laughs> seeing tornadoes <laughs> crashing into yurts jesus <laughs> christ bro hey um should we give you a parting gift bro would you like some <laughs> nine club gear of course i would some love shirts it dude. or some uh you kind of wear the old shirts though you like those uh well, it'll be old. i'll wear it I'll yeah wear it in dude okay kelly we please give uh oh and coffee mugs coffee yeah love coffee sure. what uh what Go. size t-shirt are you medium medium hey dude <laughs> this has been great bro dude, thanks for having me man dude thank you so much for coming thank you for the um the live happy travel light <laughs> live heavy <laughs> oh what did i say <laughs> live happy oh live happy That's even better actually live happy mm-hmm. travel light Oh, well, this is good too. Coffee tastes great out of this, by the way. You could have get it at uh, volume four dot com. Beer tastes great yeah, out of it too. Go. Huh? Beer tastes great out of it. As well. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Volume four dot com. Mm. No, but seriously, bro. Best of luck out there. Get some Baker Four because um, this is going to be this is going to be a huge video. Big, huge people big, have been. Foe. Baker Dude, foe. Baker foe. <laughs> People have been waiting for this. Baker 3, do you realize, was like 13 years ago. Yeah, it's a long ass time ago. That is insane to me. Insane. Thank you, Kelly, bro. Appreciate that. Legend. Oh, we got a pin. Do you do pins over? I, like, I love pins. Yeah, you have a nine club uh, pin by Pendejo. Like, Pendejo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good name for a pin. Isn't Kelly. it? Yeah. Pendejo. <laughs> That's and like then, really good. I love puns. and They're in obvious, Obviously, <laughs> with your tattoos. <laughs> it's amazing, huh? <laughs> the pun master. Uh, there's a nice uh, sweater for you. Oh, nice crew what? neck. And a uh, good old Nine Club uh, t-shirt. What do, I, what do I owe you guys, man? I'll give you a uh, discount code for the website in case you want to order some more shit. <laughs> Promo code? Promo code. Yeah. And then uh, here's a nice Switch Flip, Switch, Switch Manny mug. Is that the stage? That is the stage. You can trade that one in if you want. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. You, can, you can trade it in for an Apple. You that shit is high, you dude. You ever skated it? Yeah, that shit is high. It's fun, dude. It's hard to, like, nose manual. I can't even jump up that thing anymore. Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Fuck. It's fucking gnarly. So you ever heel flip up it? I did. Did you heel flip manually? No. Oh, oh you got it. Like, <laughs> That'd be sick. But I have heel flipped up it, trying to heel flip manual, but, you know. That's this, tight. You, know, you got the manis, one. though. <sighs> no. Yeah, you do, dude. I've <laughs> no. seen you. Uh, what did you do? Like a uh, hard flip manny on the table going down? Or the, yeah, what was fakey it? Fakey hard flip manny, but. Fakey hard flip manny. That's a good one, dude. Dude, that is really yeah. good. But that's like this long. It's don't matter, dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but still, like, like, that's like a whole. You gotta really know what you're doing on there. Out there, you wait know? a minute. Fakey oh, hard code? flip switch manual. Switch manual. Switch manual. Yeah. Yeah, because usually you see people do nolly, nolly hard flip manuals. I was trying to do fakey hard flip, fakey manny. That's the dude. That's the and I've right done there. it on a fucking like you know like a, you know like a little block thing. But like, yeah. and I was trying it on that, and then I was like, man, I can't. And then just oh. tried that first, and then did it, and then. Kept trying the other one, but yeah, right. get the fakey hard flip. All That's right. a good one, dude. That's, All right. That's a good <laughs> That's one. That's a dream manual for me, man. <laughs> yeah. That's just dope, dude. Anything to the fakey manuals. 
pretty fucking sick. When I did the figgy hard flip thing, yeah, I cheated because it's like you know it's going down a little bit. It's like you know it's like yeah, but that's a, that's actually like, like that's actually like fun because you kind of you go yeah, and you yeah, get yeah. into it and you go down yeah. like to me that's like a fun trick. Yeah, yeah it's I, I mean it's very difficult, yeah. but it's fun. it's hard to yeah. hold when you're going that fast down it too. What what was it on? What object or what? Uh, Just a painted table. You know oh, the, you, I, the you one know, down the bank. Yeah, you know the metal hub of school. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That wow, one. that's kind of sketchy though because you slip out. I got into a yeah, five though on whatever. accident one time, and then I try actually tried one, and, Whoa. One, and that did not work out. <laughs> too good. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's like you know when you accidentally get into something, you're like, oh, I should just try that. Yeah, and then no, it didn't we, work. Was it switch or hard flip? Thinky hard flip switch back five o switch or? back five o uh, yeah. oh switch okay. back five o yeah. yeah. sketchy one either one from yeah, I mean, there, but I've never seen backside I don't think so I got two tricks to work on for you guys yeah, yeah. I like right. that yeah <laughs> okay. you know what though I could I could see how the fakey manual going down the thing would be hard because like, you kind of yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 when I did it I did it on like a block and it was just like normal straight you know oh I thought you meant on the table going down yeah yeah no oh, okay I want to try it on that I tried it on that and yeah. then I gave up and did the f- switch manual switch manual yeah. yeah. Trying on tables is hard too for manuals because sometimes like the table moves. Yeah, and it's true. Yeah. And the table's like this sometimes. Yeah. Where it's yeah. like it's got a bowed. weird flex to it. Yeah. And yeah. if some asshole comes up and w- waxes it for a lip slide, you're like, <laughs> fuck. Oh, dude. God yep. damn it. Yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know, up. doesn't even ask you. Yeah. This cool, bro? <laughs> yeah, you're like, bro. You wax the top, you it's, it's scary. It's yeah. so scary, bro. Those things are slick, man. Nooch, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you everything. so Thank much, you, Raj, dude. Thank you for Kelly. Hell yeah. Hey, you, thanks for hitting me up. Dude. Like I said, yeah, fucking dude. Best of luck with volume four and Baker four. And well, four is a good number for you this year. Fo. 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 Fo.